What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped.com, and I want to show you the smooth package that they have. This has the exfoliating gel, the shaving gel, and it has the razor. You open it up. Looks like that. Listen, it's for the guys that want to use the trimmer to get close and then the razor to get even closer so you can get smooth as possible. Now, they also have body spray and body wash, which are two things I use all the time. They're my favorites. They smell great. feel clean. I don't feel oily and all that after I use the body wash. It's got a nice clean feel to it. If you go to the website, check it out. They got all their other products. Go to manscaped.com forward slash RBP. Check out all the different stuff they have for men's hygiene. They have cologne, obviously the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. They have boxers now. They have all these different deodorants and lip balms, everything you could possibly need. So get to manscaped.com forward slash RBP or use code RBP at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. Ian, what's going on, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? You got a haircut? Yeah, I got cleaned up. She's all nice. You got your got beard. beard. Does your barber do your beard and your hair? Yes. Yeah. I did a good job. Beard looks good. Thank you. Yeah. His name's Rod. He's a cool guy. Um, you're nine weeks out now. Uh, eight and a half today, actually. I'm also eight and a half weeks out. From the Olympia Expo 2022. <laughs> That's like when but uh, more competitive body was that I prep for the expo, you know? Well, that's <laughs> um no what's what are you eight and a half weeks out from? The Olympia. Like from the expo. I, so yeah. that's that was You're, right. I'm actually serious, yeah. Oh are I'm, you trying to bulk or are you trying to cut? I'm just recomping. I'm gonna stay this weight and just get huge. You're just you're just gonna oh and get huge. Well, I'm if so I was be getting leaner. Well, if I was 260 and I got shredded, I'd be huge. Yeah, you would. You'd be, you'd be the same size as me. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'll probably eight... be like 265 on stage. In the next eight weeks, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm just going to recomp all the way. Nice. Maybe they'll give you a special invite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how, mad, how mad would you I'll be? go to bat for you. I'll go to bat for you on that one. That's one special invite I'll support for once. Oh, that would be fucking hilarious. No, uh, I think um, – so obviously we have a photo shoot planned for after the Olympia with like Samson. You have a booth? Yeah. Yeah, we're having a booth, yeah. and I'm trying to work out – I'm trying. remember we talked about this. I'm trying to work out a podcast for the booth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm so trying to – try- That was with Arnold, the Arnold coming up, not for this. No, no, no. I, uh, I talked to the Olympia people, and we're working on a booth, and they're trying to figure right. out how to set up a – actual podcast booth within our mm-hmm. booth yeah i remember now yep uh one second here one sec just uh i have an impro- oh shit what did i do oh for fuck's sakes i saw who's coming on with us today who this was jose how did you know because i saw in the emails Oh, you, you motherfucker. <laughs> you can always see it. It'll say, it'll say, please judge to Ian, Jose, and Guy Sister Nino. I can't, dude, I don't know how to get back to my screen now. What the fuck just happened? What, can you see me? Now I can. Yeah, I got you now. Okay. It just like, it went full screen on me, and now I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it back. Um, Yeah, fuck. Uh, Jose's been bug- bugging me to get on, and now he's having trouble getting on. Oh. It's the world trying to keep us apart, you know? <laughs> the universe. The universe talking. Anyway, so yeah, the the Olympia people are trying to set up, trying to figure out how to set up a podcast booth within our booth with like a glass wall so people can see in. If if not, we you should or we should or whatever do try and find a place, external place that could do like a live podcast event on the Sunday. Yeah. That would actually be good Sunday night, maybe. It's like you'll be expoing Friday, Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sunday, Sunday during I'm, the... done, I'm done. I'm done as well. Sunday, and we could like do an event somewhere nearby on the Sunday. Yeah, because Sunday during the day, we're going to be shooting probably Samson and the, the rest of the team. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, and then after that, yeah, yeah. We should yeah, if anybody's that. listening, 
if anybody's listening that has a gym or something they want us to come out to yeah gym supplement store you got some space to set us somewhere up we do can, somewhere we can set up uh some mics yeah. yeah that would be fun okay i just sent jose another link i was trying to keep Guy, you guys apart on purpose i was trying to keep you guys apart on purpose because all the fans were dying to get you guys together yeah. I was gonna see, I was gonna see how long I could troll everybody for. I know, I saw that. I was just telling Mark about that today. So this is kind of ironic that it's on today. Yeah. <laughs> um anyway, yeah. So I figured because we're shooting Samson on the Sunday, I'd like to be in somewhat decent shape so I can at least do some photos and wearing some clothes or something. Yeah, picture of his fucking side leg the other day. No, I didn't. Where on his page? It was Instagram, yeah. Looks sick. Uh, I've had a lot going on the last few days. If you hadn't seen yet, eight, eight ten, shit, he's early. <coughs> okay, uh, hey, where'd you guys go? Hi, guy. I don't hey, know where did you? we go. We're right here. Go. I don't know. I clicked something. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay, I'm having my own electrical issues. You got today. your beard comb? You got it. Did you try to shake too? No, I'm just. It, it looks a little. Scraggly. <laughs> I was going to send you some beard dye the other day. <laughs> All right. Where is this, Ian? Where am I looking? Here? What are we doing? Looking at Samson's side leg. Oh, that was wild. Just wait. It'll zoom in. Motherfucker. Samson's a freak, man. Just wait. It, the, cr the closer it gets, the crazier it looks. Yeah. Looks like a horse. He's got that Akeem, Akeem side yeah, leg yeah, going wait, on. Look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> It looks just like a keys. You're right. I think he knows it too. Look at his face. He's like, yeah, I'm I mean, okay. even those are some nice deep cuts for his, his glutes at this far out. Like, obviously, it's the side, not in the side shot, not in the back shot, but still, like, that's, I'm, it makes me less worried that he won't be in exceptional condition, you know? Yeah. But like, this is the side of the leg at the fucking Arnold, and it wasn't like that. Yeah. You know, sometimes when it comes to condition, it's just having the extra muscle. It's having the muscle. And I think it's also, Sometimes I think for guys, you have to have got the, your body fat low enough a few times. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, say, like, when you have, say, you take like a two year off season, you get fucking huge, and you yeah. hold that fat for a little longer. I find the first time getting it off is harder than like the third time, you know? Yeah, yeah. no, I agree. I agree. And I think now he's getting a couple showings where he's got a little better, a little better, and he stayed a little leaner in the off season between. I think he'll start to just get better and better and harder and harder, you know? I've been Team Samson since day one. I think we oh, are. We, How can we, you not? Here he is. Here we go. I've been Tim. <laughs> did, Jose, you have, did you not hey. get the fucking memo? Look at the fucking hair. Yeah, did you not uh, get the memo? No, it looks good. What do you mean, memo? Yeah, we shaved. We all shaved. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking I around. I kept it. No, Jose's looks good, though. It's like actually growing in. Let me see. Oh, Jose yeah. actually has the same hairline. His forehead just grew. <laughs> that's, that's, ten times more hair. that's ten times more hair than either of you guys have. Thank so you, I shaved mine, and I was, doing, I was doing quite spectacular. You were doing a horrible guy. You had one, one strip of hair right here. That's no, I did not. Yes, you did. Guys is, guys is receded, and Fuad's is just like one hair per like four inches. Yeah. It's a scattered, it's scattered, scattered yeah, hair. <laughs> Fuaz is like, you know, the cartoons when like a little thing pops up, it's like, boing. Dude, yeah. you're fucking, boing. Guy, guy, you don't, don't, even... don't, don't, you know what? Just it take was, the dump for one. Just, just take, like, just one, you want, one, right, you want to start it again? Do you want to start it again? <laughs> we'll just go back and look at another podcast. Again. Watch. Here, let's go, let's go back to the previous podcast. Here. The previous podcast. I got to find it. I got to find it. But once, once we do, you literally had one strip of hair going like this. <laughs> yeah, it was far back. Guy, yeah, take right. that thing off. Let's see you right now. So, lean over, lean over. See, that's it. You can see it. Yeah. There's one. What? Strip, there's one strip of hair. Like, Bro, after... what are you talking about? This is all the fucking same. No, there's you know nothing there. there dude. It's it's hair there hair. is back here. There's not a lot. No, no, no. You have two bald spots and one strip of hair in the middle. No, it recedes back to here. That's no, it. No, goes further than that, dude. No, it does it right here. <laughs> it does. Guy, yeah, you have a kit. You have a kitchen island of hair. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's like the counters, you know. Jose, counters. put your head down. Jose, put, put your head, head down. This, this thing in the I have my, that's your... exactly how my no, room looks. It's not no. exactly how you should look. Oh, do I have to grow my back again? Yes. To you yes. Fucking... yes. <laughs> if your if your hair looks as good as Jose's, I'll fucking let my hair grow for a year, and I would never wear a hat. 
That's a good. Jose, how long have you been growing that for? <laughs> Since we started. Since we started, how long ago was that? Uh, it's got to be two months. Or <laughs> couldn't, you couldn't shave your head because you got everything stolen. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, Jose, Jose, you wanted to be on with Ian. Now you're on with Ian. What do you want to ask him? Everything. <laughs> Ian, <what's laughs> oh, is this about the naked butt pick? All right, guys. No, we'll deep dive you on guys the brought that up. You guys asked. You want to ask like him about the. You want to ask about the, if it's gay or it's only gay if you're gay? Is that what you ask well, that, that's a good start. Where okay. did that come from? I, I think know. I forget. We had a debate about being gay, and Ian said it's only gay if you're gay. And I'm like, that's not true. It is true. It's gay if it's a gay activity. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whether you think you're not gay or not. But no. once anything of a man enters, animals, once penis enters butthole. The yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of guys in jail who will disagree with you. Well, they turn gay. <laughs> but then mean they not, so not... jail, so jail is technically like the spatula. And then they turn straight again when they get out. You still can we, gay can for we a start period. with something? Can we start with something other than gay, please? We've okay. been doing gay like yeah, we'll every podcast later. for like the we'll last four. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that later. Is there something okay. else you want to ask, Ian? Well, I was just on Derek Lunsford's uh, invitation podcast, and it was. Uh, Really interesting. I wanted to get your take on it and uh, see if someone actually messaged me today and said Ian's pissed. I'm like, I don't know if he's pissed. What do you mean, Derek Lunsford podcast? What did I? What did I miss? Oh, he has a. It's called the Invitation Podcast. What? What an ironic title. <laughs> Wait a minute. Exactly. Where Where is this on YouTube? Yeah, look it up. It's Derek Lunsford's. Um, um, it's called the Invitation Podcast, and it, it's on um, oh, Honey's. It's Honey's. Is it ironically called the invitation? Podcast? Wait, is it Hani's podcast? Yeah, he invites he invites you on. He's laughing. This is he's trolling us right now. We're getting fucking for sure. He is for sure. He is. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is you motherfucker. <laughs> you guys don't know him like I know him. I knew he's full of shit from fucking <laughs> Jumpstart. He's trying to te- get Ian fired up about the invitation from Derek Lunsford. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> here it is, right there. The truth. Breaking news. All right. Honey's podcast is good though, for real. Um, so let's get let's get the word from the horse's mouth here. Uh, He's already I mean, stated it. Go ahead, tell tell. I'm pissed. Tell it that. doesn't it doesn't upset me personally. I'm upset with the foundation of the invitation. Um, and I, I haven't been a supporter of invitations as a whole, but I'm not. This one particularly irks me because there was more opportunity to qualify, and he's not really any extenuating circumstances like some of the past, but it doesn't bother me personally. I mean, look, obviously as a bodybuilding fan, I want all the best bodybuilders on the stage. And as a competitor as well, I want my opportunity to be Derek, you know, which I think I can. So obviously if that opportunity is given to me, I'm going to rise to that occasion and obviously take opportunity there. Um, but I don't like invites that really have no bearing. There's no, no reason for it in my mind whatsoever. You know, I have to say, I've disagreed with Ian like pretty vehemently about uh invites in the past but this one i think he's got me on his side because there was because when he when this came when sorry when this came when this came out there was still like seven shows left yeah so he mm-hmm. would have even if even if at the time of the invitation he might have still had time to get ready for like the last one i mean he looked so, good he looked good when he guess was at pittsburgh in like may like yeah yeah. He could have been ready for any single show in June, yeah. July, August, September, no problem. And I don't think it would have had a significant detraction from his Olympia prep. And the other thing, the other it thing would have about- had some kind of detraction, but that is what also makes the invitation even worse, in my opinion, is that he's been giving, he's not just getting an invite, he's getting an advantage over guys that have com- previously competed and not gotten last year's top five. So if you're sixth, if you're William Bonack, and you had to qualify again, do a show in the Arnold or Boston Pro and re-qualify. Now, Derek Lunsford, who is coming from a different division, just gets to hop, skip, and jump his way right into there with the advantage of having the entire season. Wait a minute. Two things. Where did Bonac qualify? Because he didn't win Boston, did Boston. he? Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, because Samson took second, right? Did Samson take second that. at that show? On the Boston show. Uh, either Rodriguez. Samson or um, Justin. Nope. Okay. Anyways, so... Justin did. Yeah, I guess yeah. the the point, the second point I was going to make is, and this is not to show throw shade on anybody else, but Derek probably could have won Italy or France. He probably could have won almost every show this season. No, I think I think um, 
I think uh, Andrew Jack probably would have beat him. <clears throat> most likely would have beat him. But sure. I think he could have beat Vlad. And no shade against Vlad. Vlad's a monster. But I think Derek could have beat, potentially beat Vlad in Italy. And I'm, I think he could have beat, um, who won France, uh, Patrick. Were you asking what show Bonac qualified? It was Paul. Well, I mean, yeah, if you no, were, no, no, if no, that's fine. I'd... Be honest, I mean, obviously, I mean, has Sam Mustafa won a show this year? Mo Chabon won a show this year. I mean, Derek Lunsford is in the talks to tops to be a first call out guy. I mean, you know, this is obviously he can win almost every show he would put his name into. You know, if he puts his name into an open show, he's going to be talks as a front runner in any of them at a regular season show. I think he's going to struggle with bigger guys. Myself, look, I, I'm not. I'm not debating his prowess on the Olympia stage. That's to be seen. And no, no, I, we're just furthering the conversation. Sure. But on sticking on to the topic, I just think he should have at least made an attempt, you know? Yeah. Sean, so Wall, that makes, I, sorry, go ahead. That makes their argument for them. What do you, you mean? Just made, he's making the argument for the invitation. If you're saying he could have won basically any of those shows. No, that's, get not, in, that's well, not the way. I, and okay, that's only one. Going, but that's only one way to look at it. Cause then in, in that regard, in that regard, Jose, then you could be like, well, Ian can win any show. Why does yeah. Ian have to qualify? I haven't lost a regular season show since 2018. Why do I have to requalify? That's the whole point against this. Yeah. I've won five shows in a row since 2018. I shouldn't have yeah. to requalify then fuck that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So as a, as a competitor, I completely agree with you. 100%. As a fan, I'm like, yes, yeah. he, he I, but, sure. I, ask, I don't, I don't disagree at all. Wait a second, Ian. Cause I'm in a fan perspective too. So I'll ask you this, Jose. Wouldn't have because I remember going to Tampa and watching Kamal compete. Wouldn't it have been just as exciting had Derek done an open show and won, and then and then you'd have all that hype going into the Olympia, like, oh, he fucking won an open show. He's for sure gonna be in the first call out, like blah, 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 blah. Like you would have had more than you would you'd have had that excitement twice, is what I'm saying, instead of just once. Oh, well, without a doubt. I would have loved to seen him compete. That's what I I'm really saying. wish he had. Yeah, we all do. I would love. I to told him last year after he won, I said, "Go do the New York Pro. Go win the New York Pro, and your name will explode. Like, like yeah. people will just. I mean, have you as the next Mister O? You know. Mm -hmm. And he did. He didn't do that. He could have won New York. I mean, potentially. Blessing was good, but Derek at his best. I mean, who knows? Yeah, that that would have been a good matchup. Yeah. No. I mean, look. Know. You know, I mean, you could you could make the case of, you know, he would win, so he should qualify for a lot of guys that aren't getting special invites. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a, it's a card, and I understand it, but I still think that good bodybuilders need to go through the channels. I don't think that – I think the only freebie you get is if you place top five in that previous year's Olympia, which you earned within your division within the pre-last year, and I think that's fine and dandy. Um, you know, obviously, as a fan like you, Jose, I would like to see the top five – not get that and have to compete because then they're in shows. It makes the whole season way more exciting. I mean, it puts my my chance to get to the. Yeah, can I ask a question? Wait, sorry. Would it just, it puts it be... my chance to get into the Olympia risk, and I still would like to see it. You know, yeah. would it have been different if he's an, if he was already an existing open competitor? No. Uh, that, no. Would that change anything? Well, yes, it would. If, it, I'm just asking because it seems like because he's jumping a whole, he's well, jumping no, he's... A, a class and going right to the up. Well, look. Look, if he were already him. open, they wouldn't have given the invite. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. They, he wouldn't yeah. have gotten invited. They only got the invite because he was Mr. Olympia. That would yeah. be like, yeah, in that, if you if he's in that class and you give him an invite, you need to start throwing invites to everybody. I mean, what, you're going to get Bonac? You're going to give me one? I mean, you know, it's like, who are you yeah. going to start giving invites to at that point? Yeah. I liked you know, what they were doing. What his credential was is his 212 win. You Olympia, know, he's yeah. coming from the one division smaller in, than the open, but same criteria. And he is the champion. And he also is someone that has potential to do well in the open. So I completely, as a promoter and as a fan, like the move and approve of the move. I just don't like of it in terms of gaining an advantage and just not making the effort when the effort was very easy to make, you know? Well, because there is something to be said for not having to prep and just being yeah. able to keep bulking all year round. Well, and that's what I said. I mean, uh, he's, yeah. he's absolutely gaining an advantage by it. I mean, which... the only place I, I split off with Ian is I do believe in special invites, but I think there has to be some other circumstance. Like with Rami, it was COVID with, with uh, Cedric, it was the military kind of got in the way of his competition. So there's always some type of circumstance to kind of get in the way. But with Derek, I think the reason I align with Ian on this one is because there wasn't really any reason for him not to compete. Yeah. So your final thoughts on it, Jose? I think the um, 
a lot of it has to do with excitement and promotion of the show. Okay. It's it's the unknown that makes it special. Mm -hmm. If you know, if we, we have no clue where he's going to place, and uh -huh. he could where be is... any fourth to tenth, we don't know. As a or... promotional tool, it's exceptional, and they've done it very well, and it's definitely working. So, like I said, I can't disagree there. I don't have a disagreement for that. As a promoter, it's the clear move to make. I don't disagree with you. Guy, I never yeah. asked you kind of where you fall on it for, for like your final thoughts on it. Are you against or for it? Or don't just don't so, care, period. So, so for me, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it from Ian's perspective because I did the Olympia seven times and my best placing was six. And six, seventh, eighth is where I always felt. And I was always like, if I just had a fucking year off to just do this show and not have to fucking prep early and die it down and then try to rebound a little bit. Like that's why I always felt the Olympia was always like yeah. a fucking toss up for me. Cause I always had to do another show before that. So it's for me to look at it from an athlete's perspective, I wouldn't be thrilled because I'd be like, he didn't have to fucking prep at all for this. And he got a layup Yeah. Um, from business perspective. Slam dunk. Oh, obvious. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so moving into There's the... There's not really a counter argument to anyone that would say that it's not a good promotion. No, for sure not. No, uh, I mean, Derek made... I, I mean, listen, we could all speculate on what he's going to look like, and we could all assume he's going to look tremendous, and he could wait, come I, in and look like shit. Do I think that's going to happen? Absolutely I mean, not. I have, a, I have a separate question. I have a separate question. If he doesn't do that guest posing and look the way he looks next to Nick no, Hunter... No. Does he get the special invite? No, no. That no. seems. I that, agree. The more I think of it, it seems like the Pittsburgh invite along so those alongside those guys was a methodical move on the Olympia's part yeah. for sure. Yeah, because they saw them. They saw him next to them, and they're like, "Oh fuck, he can compete with yeah, them." Let's just they, move they, him they, in. That yeah. took his. That took Derek's career from here. Yeah. To here. Yeah. For sure. Well, if you judge that show, that guest posing, he won easily. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. I, he, I, he was Nick freaky. was Nick was a Nick was a lot big. I mean, look, Derek was in better bigger. shape, but Nick but was a lot bigger. Derek had, had, Derek had a tiny he, waist, very good conditioning. He looked huge still legs. Good. Like, look, yeah. he wasn't quite as big as Nick, but you know, nine out of ten guys at the Olympia aren't as big as Nick. So, I mean, what's you know, that cemented it for sure. Yeah, 100%. yeah I mean, that okay. So that moves us to the Olympia conversation. So the only person that can beat Nick, that's significantly lighter is hottie as of now yeah as of right now depending on how, how hottie looks this year so does derek fall into the hottie category i personally don't think so because he's not going to have the same maturity and density that hottie has no i don't think he's quite there size wise but i mean he he's he's going to have an impact because he can get in very good condition i mean like his his conditioning is is very good i don't know if it'll be the same when you're not pushing down to 212 which is obviously a hard cut for him does that i mean what do we think nick's going to weigh versus what derek's going to weigh well, I pro probably 230 versus 255. Yeah, 260. Yeah. Yeah. 30 pounds is a lot of muscle. <laughs> but well, the shape, the shape. Of muscle, shape. You but, know, shape yeah, carry. but hold on. But if we go back to the Olympia, it's always been a mass monster show. Well, that's oh, not no. true because Derek was, uh, not Derek, sorry. Hunter was smaller than Nick and Hunter placed ahead mm -hmm. of him because well, of shape. He was in his yeah. 240s his whole career. You know, like yeah. Hunter, Hunter was smaller than Nick and not as good condition. And they yeah. gave him the, sh the, the shape over everything else for, I mean, for Nick. Brandon Curry, not exceptional and condition or gigantic yeah. muscularity, excellent yeah. shape. Yeah. You know, I mean... Brandon, I think because he's a little bit taller, probably holds his own mass-wise in sure. some... Maybe not in the lower body. But I mean, even if you think but, of like, you know, Brandon or even Phil, I mean, they weren't the biggest guys in their ear by any stretch, you know? I mean, no, so I, all I'm trying... All I'm trying to do is think, is Derek going to be like Hadi? Or is Hottie's density and maturity so great that Derek won't be able to fill that? that I don't size think Derek's going to have those crazy lines that Hottie but, has yet. But I think Ian's saying, fought too well. I think from the back, I think Derek can beat Hottie. So I think Ian's Derek saying, might be better than Hottie from the back, but from the side and the front, I don't think so. So Ian's saying that maybe his conditioning won't be as good because he's trying to be bigger. I don't think that'll happen with Hani at the helm because Hani's like going to push conditioning first, but also. If he doesn't have to suck down, his conditioning might even be better than it was at 212 because he's sure. going to be fuller. Yeah, if I had to guess, Derek's in shape now. Well, close. No, no not, like not the way he needs to be. No, but. I didn't. Well, I didn't say stage ready. I said in shape. Like, is he in, is oh, he sure. on time? Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm I'm sure he's like probably a little ahead, if any. Yeah, I just think he's going to look better 
with the added weight than I agree. Like I think that the coming down that probably like an extra four to eight pounds that he would have to push down that probably wasn't comfortable <laughs> was obviously losing, especially in his legs, like his quads yeah. was losing some through the adductors and stuff. He lost a bit of fullness, his chest definitely too. Um, but from the back, he is still fucking deadly, man. His glutes so, are like, you know, super. His deep glutes are etched like the last person. Yeah, I mean, he's got Phil, he's got Phil Heath quality from the back. Super dugout hamstring, super hard, tight skin like that. Dugout glutes, very wide, detailed back. I mean, he's he's very dangerous from the back. The only thing I don't like about Derek from the back, and this could be different based on but that's how he poses. No, no, the extra ten pounds or whatever you might put on being in the open is the gap in his legs his so legs just i knew yeah. you were gonna say yeah, yeah i think his... that can be fixed that could be fixed with posing in a lot of ways i think yeah potentially jose you've been pretty quiet where do you think uh derek will end up do you think he's gonna end up in that top five or do you think he I can think... beat guys like hunter and nick uh it, 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 i don't think he's got the upper body yet um like he's massive right now but when upper he gets body or his face, chest like the chest, shoulder, arm area, there's not a whole bunch of detail in there. And like the maturity, like you mentioned, Hadi is a freak. He, that's a completely different animal than what mm -hmm. Derek should. Hard cement muscle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It, where I do think Derek could beat Hadi from behind, uh, everywhere else, it's just not there yet. And I don't even think um, being fuller is is – going to make that much of a difference it'll be better for sure i actually don't think derek's better than hottie from the back i do uh, i have uh, a, actually a good question because you pull that up have you that's done hottie's weakness is have, the you, rear double. have you done you've done open shows right jose yeah and did you what would what was your weight like were you still right around 212 doing those yeah, actually, I was 203 when I placed second to Lucas Osledale. Uh, I don't know what you guys are looking at, but this is... And I was like 206 when I was fourth behind... Yeah, that's not his best pose. Dude, but that's it, a good back. Like, this is fair sure. all the way to the bottom. Sure. Hamstrings are thick. Like, and that was, that was a good that arm. Was, that was... Good, but now pull up Derek. This one second. Let me... I don't know why it's showing it to me like that. I'm not saying it's necessarily better. Well, maybe it is. I'm just saying it can certainly hang with it. Yeah, I think detail wise and hardness wise, he's he's up there. We just had it there. Uh, so here is Hottie here. That's kind of small. I wonder if I can find a bigger shot. That's a damn good shot. I know right it is, there. man. I'm telling you, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think Hottie is the most balanced bodybuilder on stage. Don't disagree with you there. Yeah, he I agree. But we're not we're not arguing Derek being more or equally balanced. We're saying he's can. Beat him You're in saying his back double is one better. pose potentially with if anything adds to the argument of him being less balanced. There, go center yeah. row, second row, center. Sorry, no, I just want... Yeah, that's. I mean, his well. hamstring, his glutes are more dug out, but go to the second row left. This one. Yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, think I he's think... a little. He's wider than Hadi. I think Hadi's is more impressive. He's wider. I'll give you that, but Hadi's more impressive to me. Okay, but just, we're also we're also looking at a sucked down version of somebody who's very flat at two twelve. I know, but imagine this was full. I still don't think he carries yeah, the same the amount picture, of muscle. Go to the picture top left where he's off stage. This one. Yeah, I mean, there's some fullness back, you know. Listen, his his graininess is pretty impressive for a young guy. Um, I just and his glutes are going to be sharper than Hottie's, but I and don't. He doesn't think, have quite the thickness and depth to his. Yeah, back. like look at his legs; they're definitely not as thick as Hottie's, and it it doesn't. The lower lat or the lat itself, all the way down, is not as thick as Hottie's. Yeah, no, Hottie's definitely stronger in the lower half. I give. What's that one where he's not tanned in the bottom? Uh, which one? Sorry, over guy. to the over oh, up over to the right. Right, 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 right. Down. down no, nope. down. This over. One? Yeah. Was that yeah. the? That was a guest posing. Yeah, That's yeah I mean, he looks arms. great. Look, it's 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 a phenomenal shot. I just, I'm very impressed by Hottie's. Yeah, no, Hadi's is obviously wildly impressive as well. I mean, Hadi is one of the most impressive guys for sure. And it's funny because that's his worst pose. Yes. See, that's, that's how Nick's pose, pose and that's Derek's best pose, right? So, and I also yeah. think Nick's, Nick's back all the way around. Is like that picture there of Hadi on the left, I think Derek looks better than that. Me, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's not, this one's not great. I'll give you that. Um, I don't think Derek can beat Nick from the back either. So that's also going to be a tough one for him. Sorry, that's too small. There's not that many shots of Hottie from the back. 
I just think he's got a lot more thickness. I think Derek's is a prettier back shot, but Derek has a different level of hardness from the back that Hottie definitely has from the front. Yes. Yeah. Derek's yeah. hardness from the back is really nice, you know. It's a very tight, like cement, just, like plastic look, you know. I just feel like he's thicker all through the center. He's, he's certainly shot. thicker. I don't disagree yeah. with His erectors are fucking yeah. thick as shit. His trap, yeah. his traps and everything is thicker than yeah, his mid-back and traps yeah. and everything are very thick. Uh okay. So where so looking at that, so what sorry, go let's go back. Jose, what do you think? Do you think he'd be in top top five or six? I think he's gonna be in a first call out of seven. Really? Seven, seven or eight. I think they're gonna do six in the first call out. I don't think Derek's gonna be in it. I think eight's that's a big first call out, bro. They did it, they've done it before. Like seven, before. seven guys. They've the done first it before. Call. Yeah, then they have done like sevens or eights, and then they'll come back around and do like a top three or four call out of that. Right. right. No, I don't see him. I don't think he's ready just yet to be um, in the top four or five guys just yet. We've been so we've been discussing the top five, and we still think I'm 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 starting to change my opinion a bit, but we think what I don't know the top five because we've been talking about the top five is still going to be the top five. With maybe some placings being rearranged, like Rami, Rami, Hottie, Brandon, Nick, Hunter. I think the only placing that I'm 100% sure will not change, if I had to say, is Rami. Is who? Yeah. I don't think Rami stands a chance of losing. I think that would be very, very, very unlikely. Like something would have to go wildly wrong. Agree. Any of the other placings, I think, can be flip flopped very easily. I think Hottie can move up, Brandon can move down, Bonac could move up, Nick could move down or up, Hunter could move up or, you know, I and think I, I wanna, can move I'm up not, in there. I think, you know, Samson could move up in there. Ian, I'm not blowing smoke, but your recent added size could be a big difference as well. Yep. The I closer, agree. The closer the show gets, the more confident I feel that I could shake things up in that I've person. seen, I've seen like some of your recent photos, you look thicker than I've ever seen you look. And yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, this could be something. Yeah. No, I think so, man, things are, are, are connecting a little differently that's why like as i that's why i said like as i see things get closer i'm like wait a minute that top five might have some interruptions because andrew jacked might be able to put his conditioning in place yeah and if he does he could be in the top five samson if samson can maintain that muscle mass that he's put on between the arnold's and now yeah even even if he can maintain like 80 percent of it bonac i mean chad and chad seem pretty (laughs) that that Bonac could make it up in that first call of this so year let's, let's let's go one at a time um jose what do you think about Uh-oh. samson let's go what do you think about samson if he can keep most of his size you so think- i saw samson in boston and i was blown away by him yeah i thought i thought he was incredible he was big. a humongous human yeah yeah and he posed really well and his condition was good his the only thing that was kind of threw me off was his lats they're either high or they don't pop out yeah they're narrow they, they, they don't fit the rest of his body he's got great arms great shoulders great legs let me show you something jose just before you keep going so this is the difference between when you saw him and yeah. now it's a big difference Every, i mean it's a totally really different big. person yeah there's yeah. A, there's not a lot more width though there's a lot more thickness especially in the lower back but i don't know yeah. how width there is so like i feel like because of this added muscle here it makes yeah. his back look much yeah, better. I mean, look, like, you add you add more muscle anywhere on that back, it's gonna just make yeah. it's gonna help. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's definitely a lot. Like there's a lot more three D aspect to that. But I do agree with both you guys, and me and Samson have even had this discussion that his back is the one place that he needs to improve to match his legs and his chest. Yeah. So that's not. Yeah, I don't think that's something that he legs doesn't are know. So wide, right? Yeah. Like they're so wide. So, sorry, Jose. Going back to you now after seeing like i don't know if you already saw this photo but this is the difference from when you saw him yeah if he can I keep can most of that. this new muscle because you know a new muscle doesn't stick always so if he can keep this new muscle where does do you think he stands a chance of being in that top six so even if he keeps even a little of it and is perfectly conditioned yes he can be a top six guy for sure because he's he's overwhelming he's really big tall wide conditioned you know, pretty bubbly muscle. This is his leg condition now, if you hadn't seen this. Yeah. No, wait, until, wait until he turns the camera, Jose. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... It, Look at that it, hamstring. No, it looks wait. like he's kept a when lot they, of that When size. they turn the camera, it looks so much more impressive. Yeah, they face him at the end. It's crazy. They slip around right here, yeah. Like a fucking racehorse. Wow. It totally reminds <laughs> me of Akeem's leg. Yeah. 
Wow. He's got good skin too. For, it's for not. Like, it's not great though, Jose. Because the one thing I think at the Arnold was the the and it could change now because I'm already seeing lines in the side of his glute. But the one thing was that skin on his back and glutes was a little bit thicker. But I don't know if it's a conditioning thing or a skin right. thing. What I said earlier, I think is is going to become more and more the case. I think the more times he stays leaner yeah. in off seasons, gets in good condition for shows, and is slowly lowering that average of body fat that he maintains all year and into shows, it'll get easier and easier for him to get in that kind of condition for shows. But I think he's been very big and had, hadn't been in exceptional condition many times in the past. So he's really just doing that first phase of really knocking that fat off, you know? I just, because it reminded me of Akeem. I thought we'd take a look at his, his leg. His side splits are just, it's those lines down the side of his leg, you know? know. It's, it's the side lines on his glutes, down his quad. It's not even the glutes. Like the hamstrings in the quad, it's like, it's all good. But then those cool I lines, know. Slice right is here. what makes it look so sick. Uh, okay. So, Jose. Yes. Can Andrew beat Samson? Or can Samson beat Andrew? Yeah. Um, if 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 Andrew's in the same condition that he's been showing up in, I think he's going to slide. Like he's not going to be as yeah. uh, what people are thinking. You yeah. know, he could end up in the eight, nine, ten spot. Uh, honestly, I, mean, I think he has genetically the prettiest physique on stage. Mm -hmm. uh, but but it's a level of condition that's like JV compared to the Olympia lineup. I'm just yeah. being honest. It's yeah. um, really like those legs were eight weeks out. His, his How come when I from said, the back, from the back. hold on. Yeah. How come when I said this stuff, nobody agreed with me? No, that's not true. We agreed with you. Well, I think you- I got fucking reamed for saying shit about no, Andrew no, Jack. No, that's not everybody true. on here. No, not from us. You, you you even said you were arguing with me that his legs were fucking new. Look at this line from the front, like from the, the front. quads, from the front. The quads I thought they're fine. Standing. Yeah, I don't but mind from the front. We're ta he's talking about from the back. I thought his. I thought from the back too, but I thought the lines from the front, Jose, were like didn't like could have been more. They, they could slot. They no, could, you're not wrong, be guy. You're not wrong. But we were comparing them to the guys on that stage, and on that stage, I felt like they were all pretty equal. Oh God. From oh, the yeah. from the back, you I would never look at that quad conditioning and be like, "Those quads are out of shape." But his glutes and hamstrings certainly needed to. Yeah, his, from okay. the back, his yeah. entire backside needed like yeah. another four weeks. Yeah. yeah. No, um, I think, I, and I used Ian as an example. Um, I said, "You know, how high is he going to place?" I'm like, yeah. "If he shows up like that, he's not beating Ian. He's not. He's not beating Hunter. He's not beating Nick. He's not beating Hottie. I mean, yeah. that puts him at eight, nine, ten spot." You know, uh, but that said, if he somehow can get peeled, he's going to be dangerous. But then, you and know, I, me, and, me and Ian had an interesting conversation about it is it's easy for Andrew to look full and like blasting full from the front because he's not yeah. in 100% shape where it could be one of those situations where they try and suck him down like Steve Kuklo and he ends up being a little bit stringier. Yeah. So we don't know what it's going to look like when they bring him all the way down. If that's he's going to maintain that pop. I know if I came in. So that, hold on. So that's the same argument I made about Derek. Yeah. I know if I, <laughs> yeah. if I came in yeah. in that level of condition that he is, I'd be like 275 and I'd be, I'd look fucking. You'd look remote. like a house. Yeah. 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 I would look gigantic, but I come down another 10 pounds from that and get my condition in. You lose a bit of that. That full craziness. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. look yeah. like, you look like an in shape guest poser. No, Was I would it? look like someone that was. Like at a really good four weeks out, you know. That's what I'm saying, like a, like a yeah. good guest poser. Yeah, your Jose. strength is is your midsection. You have a really good midsection for a big guy. Yeah, I've kept so it. So if you do anything to destroy that, that that fucks you up. Yeah, I slightly disagree with that. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's part. I think it's part of his strength, but I think Ian's main strength is his width. Yes, he's very so very right. wide, and I think when you first come out, right? Because we all know, like, first how big important first impressions are. I think when the lineup comes out and Ian squares up, his shoulders are just wider and thicker. That, I, think that, yeah. I think that just helps. It pairs with. Yeah, yeah, the it's waist. with the waist. Yeah, it's yeah. with the waist. Yeah, so that, like, yeah. that's why it's like my best shots. Or, like my front lat is like one of my best shots because I have very wide shoulders. Well, which, my waist has been like the same size for a decade. You know, your yeah. first impression from the judges is holy fuck when you yeah. just. Oh. Yeah. Your first, your first impression is crazy. I've been training the living shit. Do you want to keep going here? Yeah.
I, I've been training the shit out of my abs the last like well seeing your legs are fucking so great before then your fucking I've shoulders been, are just round and just striking yeah. yeah. and those bull Lewis trunks you have those bull Lewis oh, yeah. trunks so, <laughs> that the bulge in the front just rah. it really Jose, did, Jose when you put your trunks on do you put your dick down or up there we fucking go it's definitely down I don't understand the whole up thing how, how would that even work because my dick would touch my butthole. <laughs> That's really ridiculous. <laughs> That's right, guy. Now you're talking. Uh, you rested on your nuts. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, I, was was saying, no. I, was, I said I've been training my ass a lot. Like, was, but when I just tries to flip the script like nothing just happened. Sorry, like, go ahead. No go ahead, Ian. Get, can't ever get a word with this guy. You know? Go ahead, Ian. I'm good. I'm good. What? Shut well, up, Were you training your abs, Ian? No, never mind. <laughs> yes. Not? Yeah, no. I've been, I've been training my abs a lot, yeah. Jose, you look better this week. What? Where'd you do? Did you do a facial or something? Somebody give you a facial? And, and, no, I use the um, the filter. I have <laughs> there an is no filter. filter what, what are you talking about? He's got the well, Snapchat he's filter. Been using, right he's been using his Manscaped razor. Use promo uh, code Guy Ten. Right. Promo here. code RBP yeah. Manscaped. Yeah, yeah. I don't even have nice, a promo code. You look nice and freshly Botoxed for sure. Yeah. What did you yeah. do? Is it was it your trip to Buenos Aires? You did. It must be. I got a little sun. You got kissed by the rainbows. Yeah. What did you yeah. do there? How long did you go for? I was there for nine days. I was in Buenos Aires. For... Are you Argentinian? No, I'm Puerto Rican. Oh. But I, I had a client competing in the amateur Olympia. Oh, okay. In the classic physique. So we went down there. And then we spent four days in, in Argentina. I mean, in uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So you made it like it was like a work slash vacation. Yeah. Yeah. We had some fun. Wait, are you, gonna, right? are you you're not going to leave out what happened? What happened? Yeah, no. Um, the two things that happened? Okay, okay. Yeah, Can you just, just go ahead, Jose? The second day we were there, we were having lunch in the host hotel at the Hilton. And my girl put her, her like uh, crossbody bag on the chair next to her while we were eating. And someone came by and got it. We had like 500 bucks cash in there, both of our passports. Oh. What do you mean and, somebody uh, came by and got it? You guys weren't looking? Or did somebody come by and snatch it while you were looking? Just keep running. He, yeah, they was just busy. It was a busy lobby, you know, like yeah. the lobby at a hotel during a big show, you know, tons of people everywhere. So and somebody just, grabbed it and you didn't even know. You just felt kind of no. like after you looked and it wasn't there. Exactly. Holy fuck. fuck. But we luckily got back our um, passports. Uh, uh, they had dumped it down the street from the hotel and someone oh. found them. So what the fuck? We, yeah, we got them back. But then we flew to Brazil and at the airport, I put all the luggage on a cart and I wheeled it out to the cab. And then the two guys standing there, yeah, yeah, come on, we'll load it. They load in the trunk of the cab and we get in the cab, drive 45 minutes to the hotel. We get out, the guys unloading the cab, my, my luggage is gone. What? I'm like, Ooh. yeah, the guys at the airport stole my luggage. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but didn't you watch them load it into the trunk? I watched them for a minute. I didn't watch them load every bag. Oh, fuck that. I would have. And then, you know, I, I, yeah, it was a definitely my fault. I should have watched them load, every, but you're not thinking this guy's going to steal my bag. Well, I'm extremely paranoid when I travel. I am like, now. I'm always like, I'm always like, where's my bags? Like, I'm always on top of my bags. Yeah. I don't, because I just don't fucking trust it. I'm always bags. assuming my shit's going to get lost because my luck sucks. <laughs> And I had a, a week's worth of, of clothes and shoes and everything in there. So what'd you do? Did you have to go shopping and buy all your yeah. fucking shit again? Yeah. Went do you shopping. have any, anything important in there that you got lost or no? No. Luckily, I had all my money on me and like credit cards and stuff. What the but, fuck? But um, I had no clothes. I just had what was on my back. And I happened to be wearing Flex Lewis's shirt. So for, it looked like I had that shirt on for three days, every picture I'm in. <laughs> 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 and in the, the the clothes down there, the people aren't normal size people. Yeah, you know, like Eduardo and and Remondino are like rare people in Brazil. Yeah. So every item of clothing I bought was fucking awful. Too small. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, man. So other than that, but that would have put such a bad taste in my mouth. It would have ruined it my whole did. trip. It did. But we made the best of it. We went and saw the. Uh, the Christ Redeemer statue, you know, that big statue. Big up one on the in the mountain. middle. Yeah. 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 Really cool. We went to this Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a beautiful area. It's called Copacabana. Yeah. You've, you heard that song, right? It's, yeah. um, it's the beach that we were on. Exactly. And we were, 
in our hotel room, we were right on the beach. You could see it. It was it was beautiful. But it's okay. like a third world country. I mean, it's old. And yeah. the, you can Nobody be in a five star right? hotel, and the next building is falling apart. Yeah, like it's 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 filthy. And, and I, I don't know. I don't know English, right? Go ahead. No, very few. Yeah. So I don't know a lot about Brazil, but I heard there was a lot of crime. Other than them stealing your bag, but I mean, there's a lot of the oh, kidnapping yeah. and shit. Is that true? Well, I didn't, you know, see anyone get kidnapped, but it, no, I, I, was... I know you didn't see anybody get kidnapped. I see <laughs> well, you put it this way. Was the there armed guards landed, everywhere? Um, no, they're very helpless. They, they were like really? young guys, young 20 year old kids yeah. in cop uniforms. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a free for all there. Definitely. Wow. Crazy. It's, it's not someplace I would like, choose to go again you know i'm yeah. it's, a, it's a bucket list thing I, I did, i've been to brazil you know if i go i'm gonna go see eduardo and florinopolis where it's all uh where's florinopolis uh, uh santa catarina it's like an island south brazil um okay it's a, it's like a nice higher yeah. scale area like a island yeah, yeah, of yeah. Wealth. <laughs> not uh, not i crying. got a 10 year anniversary coming up with my wife and I'm trying to figure out where to go. We're, yeah, talking, we're talking about France, Italy, Greece. Franceburg, New Jersey. <laughs> go to New Jersey, see guy. <laughs> I would definitely go to France, Italy. Which one though? Italy. Italy's great. Because originally I thought I'd go to Italy and then drive. We would drive to France. I you like, food, to the Coast. You like food. Go to Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. and drive to paris yeah it's like eight i think it's like eight or nine hours from what i remember i don't think that's yeah, bad I just rent a car drive and then leave it there no i wouldn't do that why you would fly take the train i, like I wouldn't driving. understand no, the drive, you drive and then stop for a day or whatever yeah somewhere in the middle <sighs> yeah bro yeah bro shut up jose all right, do it. If you you got the balls to drive in another country, I, I, why I can't you drive that. in another country? You let a taxi happen? drive and you lost the fucking bag. It. The driver. Yeah, it's oh, you mean because they drive on the other side of the road? Yeah, some of them do. And they drive crazy. The roads hey, are weird. I think I can handle it. You let a you let a they taxi. Drive, who had they drive on the same side of the road? Not in France. In France, they do. In France, and Italy does. I think yeah. But I am, I don't want well, to. Go only to the, the UK. UK does that. I think. Yeah. No, I think Germany does too. No. Where do you drive in Canada? I think Germany drives on the left. Mark is literally from Germany. He's saying no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> now, Canada, we drive the same as here, obviously. On the right. Yeah. What the fuck's wrong with you, Jose? What do you think? In Canada, we drive on the left? Yeah, Have where you do you Toronto? drive? You've been to Toronto. Australia, Australia, they drive on the opposite side. Yes. Yeah, see? Yeah. In, fucking, in Britain, they drive on the opposite side. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Wales, they drive on the opposite side. Um, more importantly, are we going to do a top ten? Oh God, Ooh, it's so coming stuck. up, man. So far, it's only yeah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, well, gonna, it's going to change. I it's going to change. Ian, did you beat um, Hunter in 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 Tampa a couple of years ago? No, I beat him at the Olympia, the first Olympia we did together. Okay. All right. I beat him All at right. the 2020 Olympia. He beat me at the 2021 Olympia. Hunter beat Ian at the Tampa. Ian was off. Was, Ian, was Ian, came, Ian came back in better shape at the Olympia and beat Hunter. He was seventh. Hunter was eighth. And okay. then Hunter came back last year and beat Ian. Hunter was fourth. Ian was seventh. Okay. So that's their – they've gone back and forth. I think they're going to continue to go back and forth. Yeah. I, I, I think – I think uh, a pretty good chance of beating this year in my mind. <laughs> I do too. I do too. I mean – They've both improved. That's the only thing. Yeah. Because it's, Hunter's it's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Because Hunter's put on more muscle and Ben seems to think he's Branch gonna have just in saw shape Hunter. early. I was yeah. on the phone with Branch before what I Branch, what Branch said. Branch goes, bro. He was like, he put on fucking 10 solid pounds. He goes, and his oh, fucking yeah. back looks oh, he's hard. big. He's big now for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. So they both improved. So it's gonna be interesting. And they love him. They love Do they love him? Dude, I don't know. I, I I tried with all my might to see last year's placing and, and rationalize it, but I had Nick beating him clearly. So I did. Uh, so I did too, Jose. But just from the only thing I would say is, shape. I have a lot of respect for Dennis James' opinion 
And Dennis said he was sitting right behind the judges, and he said in person it looked totally different than in the photos. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Steve the same the live thing. stream, he didn't look hard at all. No. What did, yeah. what did Steve say, Jose? Steve said he looked great. He's like, I'm, I asked him dead straight, like, yeah. dude, what was up with – For uh, people – sorry, for people wondering, he's talking about Steve Weinberger, who was the head judge, I believe, or one of yeah. the head judges. Yeah. I judged the New Englands with Steve a few weeks later. Yeah. And uh, sitting right next to him, and I'm like, what was with that? And he's like, no. He's like, he looked phenomenal. He looked really good. So in person, he was better. That's what he said. So I just wanted I to dispel, take your word for it. But just, everybody said that, so it's got it had to be true. So listen, I just want to dispel the myths because I saw so many comments about, oh, it's political. It's because Labrada sponsored the show. Blah blah. Jose, can you please tell people that this is not how this fucking shit works? No, no. Your Especially with Steve. Steve. Steve is not like that, you know. And if he loves someone, which of course is there's certain physique, certain people that he really likes, he'll give them every opportunity to win yeah you know um i but mean it's not I'm based doing... on a sponsorship of the show no no yeah. no i mean i, I mean i think i don't think labrada is sponsoring the olympia this year so i mean that's still that takes that out of the equation completely if yeah. if people think it is part of the equation so yeah. I, I don't think they're sponsoring the olympia at all so that would be you know if that was a thing it's not a thing this year now what but happens if this year i beat him and he slides to like seventh then I, everyone's going to say it was politics. And that's just he's watching the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I just think it's important because Jose is friends with Steve and so is Guy. And we, like, I know Steve from competing and so do you, Ian. We all kind of know how things run. And I just think it's a really misplaced myth for people to be like, oh, it's because they paid to sponsor and they have a booth. So that means all of a sudden somebody's going to get, get it preferential. It doesn't fucking work that way, man. I wish it did. You either fucking you're good or you're not. I mean, who knows? Maybe if two guys are fucking tied. Right, Hose? Yeah. <laughs> I think you also need to realize, too, that one judge doesn't judge a show. And the head yeah. judge is not necessarily the person doing the majority of the judging. They're formulating the call-outs, moving guys around. But if someone has a score, the score is usually based off of all the other judges. And you'd have – all the judges would have to be in on this coup if this yeah. is the thing going down. If, you know, Steve runs the Olympia and he's in it, that's not necessarily enough to do it. You need to kind of have everyone in on it, you know? Yeah. All right. Steve puts him in position. So the yes. other judges... But, and that's, I agree. Mind. I agree exactly what you said. Like, he'll give... Every, yeah. If he likes a guy, he'll give him the opportunity. He'll put you in the call out and he'll give you that first chance. Um, yeah. But if you squander it, he's not there to save you, you know? All right. All right. All right. So I know you guys are saying it's early, but I don't think it's early. I think it's eight weeks out. And I think we can do a preliminary... Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Jose, you go first. You don't have to go do all 10. Let's go 10, and then 9, and then 8, and then I gotta, 7. I got to write this down. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, but let's do it. The, let's go first, and then second, third. Like, go around that way. Oh, uh, I don't like that way. That's hard. Just from the way. You think it's easier to go backwards? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, sorry. What's easier, Jose, going backwards or forwards? We'll take a vote. Forward, definitely. <laughs> What do you Ian? mean? Forwards or Because I don't even know who would be 10th. At least that's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, you just got to start at one and go down for sure. Start picking people. <laughs> it's three against one. Go ahead. You got to do yeah. process of elimination because it's process of elimination. I'll just go like, throw myself down my own stairs. Guy, who do you think is going to be 10th then if you think the other way? who I can't I, even imagine. I, I, wasn't th I just, I don't know. I like to start backwards. Whatever. Okay, go, Jose, go. I'm going to say Rami. Okay. From what? Though. everything's being said Rami. I, think Ian, I think ian's saying rami i think guy are you saying rami i'm saying rami. are you saying uh, yeah okay so guys on the rami train too okay second yeah um holy shit is, <laughs> it gets hard from there eh? second, third, yeah. Fourth yeah. Are the hardest ones by far but so listen i was at the boston pro and i'm gonna tell you bonac looked so crazy i i've been like, saying bro Nobody looks like him. Nobody looks like that much jam-packed muscle. And if he's healthy, which supposedly he is, and, 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 and Chad has a special way of making mutants, um, Bonac could be second this year. So Jose is saying Bonac is second. Yeah. We got a bet. We got a bet on this for sure by the time the end. We got to come up with a good bet. Yeah. Hey, Ian, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to put Hottie in second. Hottie. 
Guy? Uh, I'm going to say Nick. That's where I was going, but I don't know. Um, Come on, man. This is just a preliminary. I'm between Nick or Hunter. I'm going to go with Nick. I'm going to go with Nick. Go, Jose. Hadi. Jose says Hadi. Okay, Ian. Third, I have Bonac. Bonac. I'm going to say Hottie third. No, wait. Bonac or Hottie? You already picked Nick second. I'm going to say Hunter. Actually, I'm going to say... Fuck me. The song (laughs) third. I kind of want to say... Remember, Brandon's still in the mix, guys. I think Hunter, Nick, Hottie. Okay. Guy, who's third for you? Hunter. Hunter. Jose, who's fourth for you? Nick. Nick. Ian, fourth. Hunter. Hunter. Jose, who's fifth? Ian Valier. Ian. Ian Is that high fifth? enough? That's good. I'm happy with that. Thank you. Ian, who's fifth? Me. Ian's fifth. <laughs> Guy, who's fifth? Who's fourth? Ian. Who's Ian. fourth? Ian? Ian's fourth? Wait, 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 wait. What? Who's fourth? No, keep going, guy. We're speaking this top five into reality. Say it. Listen, I already fucking, I already stroked your fucking yeah, cock enough. Let's go. I already stroked your cock. You haven't stroked my cock once this episode. Who's Life four, guy? Who's what's my top three? Go. Rami, Nick, Hunter. Rami, Nick, Hunter. Bonac. Bonac fourth. Who's fifth? Ian. Ian. So you don't have Hottie in the top five. Oh fuck! I missed that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I made a mistake. Okay, Ian, you got Rami, Hadi, Bonac, Hunter, Ian. No, no, sorry. I, I, I look at my list. I have Rami, Hadi, Bonac, Nick, me, Hunter. Okay, Hunter's out. Nick, and then Ian's top six is rounded out by Hunter. Nick slash Brandon. Read mine again. I didn't know who to put there. Guy has Rami, Nick, Hunter, Bonac, Ian. Hottie, Ian Bonac. Hottie, Ian Bonac. So, oh, then there's Brandon. Somebody fucking kill me. This is fucking brutal. Hottie, Bonac, Ian. Okay, so then I have Rami, Hunter, Nick, Hottie, Brandon. To everybody we're talking about, I love all of you equally. <laughs> this is ain't giving me anxiety. <laughs> this is giving me really bad anxiety. I don't even want to be on this podcast anymore. Uh, uh, my hands and my palms are getting sweaty. I'm oh getting my nervous. god! This is this is we're gonna have to redo this whole thing. Ian, I know Bonac. Okay, so I have right now Rami, Hunter, Nick, Hottie, Brandon, Ian, Bonac. Who's what, what place? What place is Brandon in? This is definitely gonna have to change by the end. This is so. <laughs> This is why are we mess. doing this? This is so because, this is why we said it's we dumb. Have to start, no, because it's we have to dumb. start somewhere and we'll it's refine dumb. it. No, it's no. not because we're going to refine it as we go. This isn't chess, bro. I'm going to give you my full. I'm going to give you my full and you can write it down. Wait a minute. You wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry. Wait a minute. Ian loves doing this. Well, I just already, I already wrote it down. So, okay. Tell me. Go ahead. You got Rami, Hottie, Bonac, Nick, mm-hmm. Ian, Hunter. Mm-hmm. Then what? Mm-hmm. Brandon. Brandon. Samson, Andrew. Or Andrew Sampson. You Brandon, Sampson. It's a flip of a coin, so you can pick which one you want to put there. Andrew. Okay, so your top 10 is Rami, Hadi, Bonac, Nick, Ian, Hunter, Brandon, Sampson, Andrew. You have one more for the 10th. For tenth. Oh. Lunsford? Oh, yeah, Lunsford. I'll put Lunsford in 10th, yeah. Okay, Lunsford, 10th. <laughs> no, I'm going to switch that. <laughs> I'm going to switch that. Okay. I'm going to put... Lunsford ahead of Samson and Andrew? Ahead of Andrew, not Samson. Okay. Jose, you have Rami, Bonac, Hottie, Nick, Ian. Predictions. 
Exactly. Hunter. Hunter. Okay. When you actually do this, you realize how impossible this is. I know. There's no fucking way, right? Like, I look back at it now, and I'm like, oh, I could switch this and this. Oh, that's probably wrong. I don't know. I know. I know. Derek. Derek. Brandon. Brandon. You think Brandon's going to slide from second to seventh? H, anything can eighth? happen. You have Brandon in eighth. <laughs> no, it's you the worst. You think, Mr. Mr. Olympia is, you think Mr. Yeah. Olympia is going to go from fucking second to eighth? I have him in seventh. Well, he's 39 now. Okay, okay. Yeah, Brandon, you eighth. Know? Who's ninth? Who's ninth? <laughs> is that eight? One, That's two. That's eight, yeah. Uh, six, One, seven, two, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. And um, <laughs> Samson. Samson, nine. And Andrew. Andrew, 10. All right. Guy, we have Rami, Nick, Hunter, Hadi, Bonak, Ian. Uh, no, I have Ian, Derek, Brandon. Ian, Derek. <laughs> you also have Brandon in eight. <laughs> no, seven. That's seven. One, Brandon, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. No, Rami, Rami, Nick, Hunter. Yeah. Hadi. Hadi, Ian. Ian. Derek, Brandon. You took so now Bonac is eight. Bonac is after Brandon. I want to give a caveat to this too. <laughs> and then, hold on, and then Samson Andrew. <laughs> I'm going with one I, mean, I don't just so you Lunsford. guys know I hate my list. <laughs> this all sucks. Lunsford's not even in your top ten. Yeah, he is. Oh, you said Derek. Oh yeah, Derek's there. Okay, Derek Samson. No, Derek Brandon Bonac <laughs> Samson Andrew. Rami Nick Hunter Hottie yep. Ian yep. Derek. Brandon, Bonac, Campton, Andrew. <laughs> okay. I got it. What's going on, guys? I want to talk to you about the newest company I'm working with. And as you can see, I'm chewing a big wad of gum because it is bash mouth energizing gum. Athletes, gamers, especially everyday life. You just need some energy. It's 130 milligrams of caffeine here. Bashmouth.com is the website. I'll show you real quick. If you get there now. You get free shipping for a limited time. Get yourself a box today. And don't worry from now on. If you need some energy, just pop a piece of gum and it will keep you going all day. I got Rami, Hunter, Nick, Hadi. So we're the same besides Nick and Hunter. No, wait. I'm starting over. Rami, Hunter, Hottie, Nick. He bumped Nick down twice already. He had him in second. <laughs> <sighs> I know, right? Fuck. It's so hard, man. I know this sucks. I think I'm the only I just, one. I'm really I keep re- bumping. I keep bumping Brandon down, and I keep going. Why am I doing this? It Listen, really I'm really happen. impressed with how Hunter looks. I just think he's gonna really fuck be different. So Hunter, Hottie, Nick. Because I don't know if. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Nick in, in front of Hottie. Okay. Nick's third. Hottie Brandon. <sighs> Maybe I'll just win the Olympia, guys. Ian. Ian. Who else are you missing? Samson. Derek. No, Bonac. Derek. No, Samson. <laughs> Andrew. You got Bonac in eighth. Samson, yeah, Samson, Andrew. <laughs> Bonac. Oh, and- Bonac. <laughs> this is impossible, man. Bonac, Derek. Okay, that's you know, it. I, I, okay, I what, 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 this is what I got. I got Rami, Hunter, Nick, Hadi, Brandon, Ian. One, two, three, four, five, six. Samson, Andrew, Bonac, Derek. Bonax gonna be ninth. I feel like your 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 guesses are really good, except for Bonax in the right spot. Where's Andrew? Where's Andrew? Andrew's eighth. Eight. Where's Bonac? Ninth. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know where to put him. I I thought I thought I felt bad. Oh my god. Well, you put same thing. This is the same thing with with when you when you're placing Brandon. Why we all kind of place him low because Brandon can place as high as first. 
but a diminishing Brandon, especially in the legs and with not amazing condition, could also slip down to like six, seven, eight. Here, That's we, why I put seen guys with that kind of physique slip like that. You know, I don't think I, I don't think Brandon will slip further than fifth. No, I I, I think it's un, it's unlikely. But if there's anyone that could, he's the one that has like the most swing power. I think you know. <sighs> yeah. See that my my uh, inclination is to put Hunter, Nick, Hottie and Derek and Bonac together because they all have a similar shape and structure. So I, if I, if I went right off the top of my head, I would go Rami and then Brandon can either be in front of that pack or behind that pack. That's how I see it. I don't think Derek is, is like just jam packed with detail. Enough muscle muscle. to be with Hunter, Nick and Hottie. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Right. And then and, the funny thing is you have wild cards like Samson and Andrew that could either be ahead of those guys or behind those guys. And then you have someone like Ian, who's kind of like in between the fucking two. And it's like, it just becomes difficult. Yeah. Just, so here's I'm, the thing. Look, I love Samson and Andrew, but I'm not hundred percent confident enough with their ability as of yet to get in top six Olympia condition. That's the that word. Was, that's the Olympia only thing. Condition. Yeah. That's the only yeah. thing I would say. Not show winning condition, Olympia winning condition. Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's, is it? Am I wrong, or did I hear George Farah was talking about Rami, like in in terms of in terms of Andrew competing with Rami? Is he making that connection? I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't. I saw just saw something briefly, and I didn't know if they, he was trying to make that. I don't think. I personally think Andrew's great, but I don't think he's in that conversation yet. No, no, I don't think so. They're okay. both tall and wide. That's about where it ends. Yeah, yeah. But they're, the, the, I mean, the, the great the great decider in at the Olympia is everyone's got muscle, everyone's big, everyone's good. It's at that point, it becomes small incre- differences in shape and large differences in conditioning. Okay, so let really me, so let's people. talk about, let's talk about some of the guys that n- aren't, in that main conversation. So yeah. I think you have somebody like James who has a fucking mountain of muscle. Yeah. Who, if he comes in more shredded than he did in France or was it France or what show did he just win? Sorry. France. France. Yeah, it was France. Yeah. If he come, no, I thought Patrick won France. No. Patrick. Yeah, Pat- didn't Patrick win France? Who won what, Mark? Do you know? What the hell did Patrick just win? I thought Patrick, Patrick won France. No, Patrick won France. James won Italy. Yeah. Italy. Italy, okay. James won Italy. So, oh, you're right. Yeah, you're he right. won the tsunami, yeah. So, I think if James is harder than he was in, at the tsunami, can James jump into the top 10, or is he structurally not able to get in there? Yes, he can. Okay, so James is one. I don't. I personally don't think Patrick has the physique to be in the top 10. Akeem, Akeem certainly does. Akeem does. I think Patrick is still lacking too much muscle. No, Patrick, though, not. I don't think so yet. Um, I think Vlad maybe structurally has an issue, even though he has the amount of muscle he needs. Um, Jose, how do you? Th- what do you think? Before I move on, what do you think about those two guys, Vlad and Patrick? Can they? Do they have potential to be in the top ten? Unless something awful happens with Andrew or yeah, Samson or let's something. Let's assume like- everybody's. Let's assume that everybody's on in shape. No, no. Okay. I so- think the three that you can kind of throw in the conversation really to be maybe like good contenders for top 10 are going to be Akeem. Yep. James. Yep. And probably blessing as, as much as I don't want to say that. I actually, I really like blessing. So hopefully he doesn't take this the wrong way, but I don't think blessing has enough muscle yet to be in the top 10. I, I don't disagree. And that's why I didn't actually put him in my top 10, but I think, you know, if you get a guy like if he's in very good condition and you get like a Samson or an no, Andrew, but remember we're we're assuming everybody's in shape. Right? Okay, then, no, I'm not happy with the top. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying that guys that could also because I because I, I think if everybody's in shape, I think James and Akeem have enough muscle that they could potentially squeeze in there and beat no somebody way. else. Who I think uh, is going to surprise people too, and I think who he's still a little on the small side, but he was very impressive with that show he just won was Tony Burton, man. Oh yeah, he's Tony very, very impressive. Sick at that last show. I think his if, back shots are fucking deadly. There's not many guys there that can stand next to those back I'm shots. Sorry, I, I'm sorry, but I, I'm sorry, but I still think he looks like Dexter. He yes. still, he still but, reminds me of Dexter. Which, that, which, that which means 
Yeah. He could be top 10 easily. No, no, no exactly. I know, but I remember but we were talking. The argument. <laughs> yeah. No, no, but we were talking about it during the podcast, and you guys are like, no, you're crazy. He doesn't look like Dexter. And I, I just, I see it. His midsection looks It's exactly his midsection, his side glutes, his sure. shoulders. Um, yeah. I think Tonio's great. I think Tonio needs a little bit more muscle to be a, a Dexter type competitor. Yeah, um, no, I, I don't disagree, but I yeah. think he got crazy roundness. He's very impressive. Good legs. He's very, good, very impressive. Long, good yeah. midsection. His back shots are just ridiculous. Yeah. Side shots are ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think he's in that place where Dexter was when I first started bodybuilding. When I first started bodybuilding, Dexter was a perennial second place yeah. guy. Then he started winning some smaller shows. And as he put on muscle, more muscle, he started just destroying everybody. Does anybody know what Tony weighs on stage approximately? He said he put on 16 pounds from the last show in May. It looks like oh. Tonio. So where do you think that puts him? Like in the two, mid-230s? 225, 228. I'm going to ask him to come on my podcast. I'd like to have a like a one-on-one conversation with him, see yeah. how, how his, how his yeah, story is. Tell, tell him I want to know how much he weighs. Yeah. Um, okay, so Tonio, the other person I think we're forgetting, who I, I don't want to say he could be in the top 10, but he is impressive, is Charles Griffin. I think yep. his new posing style and able to be be able to do vacuums kind of gives vacuum. his physique a different very, appearance. Very, very, very strong back shots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's somebody else. But Akeem is a good one. Akeem we kind of overlook, but Akeem's back always just throws me off. Yeah, Akeem, Akeem is too – his conditioning is too inconsistent in its range. You yeah. know, he can show up in good condition where his back doesn't look too bad and the rest of it is pretty hard and he's played six at the Olympia, you know, I mean, 2020, he was six, six there, um, where then the next year he was like what ninth or 10th. So, I mean, you know, it's, that's just a change in conditioning with almost the exact same players in that lineup, 2020 and 2021 were the same fucking guys. There was no difference. I played seventh in the exact same things, you know, this is a fucking disaster. We should just leave this. We should just leave this and see how wrong we all are. Yeah. we're bad. I'm going to be correct. I think Jose is, I think, yeah, I think Jose is the closest. I'm going to be correct. Oh, he's not. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? He's he was not- the first one. He was the first one to put me in the top five. So he's the <laughs> So he's right. Hey, <laughs> motherfucker, I put you in fourth accidentally. I get no street cred. Yeah, but he did it. He started, he started the charge, you know? Yeah, yeah. but I passed it up. No, because if, I, if he I, put I, me in like eight and he was the first one, if he put me in eight, you guys would all kind of follow suit and put me seventh, eight. He started. I, I just did my own. <laughs> Who gives a fuck what he did? I think you're, <laughs> I think you're forever going to be seventh. No, I'm I'm going up this year. I'm going up this year, baby. Yeah, Jose, on a, on a couple podcasts ago, we we looked at some other years <laughs> and where Ian would have placed, and every time he was seventh. We yeah, we looked at the 2006 <laughs> Olympia. <laughs> we looked yeah, at 2000, 2002. And my Olympia placing was, I think, 13th or 14th. Then it was seventh, eighth, seventh, sixth, and then eighth. 10 and I was done. <laughs> that was a good record though, man. Consistent. I'm uh, 14, sucking. I'm 14, 7, 7. There is seven, no way. My lucky there, number, 7, there's, 8. There's, okay, I just want to state, state this for the record. There's no way Jose's right. There's no way. Jose, I love you. But this Wait, hold on. No hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. None of us are right. Hold on. Make a bet. No, no, but he's not the closest. Hold on, but make a bet. Make a bet. Jose, if you think you're hey, dead right. Jose has Bonac at second and Brandon in eighth. Make a bet, Jose, if you think you're right. It's the year of grainy muscle. That that is the the, that's what's gonna be the statement here. Dude, last year, first and second both didn't have grainy muscle. Why would you say that? Right. Well, I'm saying this year, and that's why Brandon is gonna be slide because everyone ahead of him is suit. No, because Rami is not gonna be grainy. And so that means Brandon will be able to slide up because he's also not gonna be grainy. Oh, so you think Brandon's gonna win? No, but I don't think Brandon's going to be eighth. Where'd you put him? I had him in, in ninth. Fifth. <laughs> I had him in fifth. I had him in fifth, and I and I feel bad about that because I, I do too. Trust me, because I think he still could be second. I mean, he could fucking win. We don't know. I mean, who should? Yeah, he very well I think there's like four, I think there's like. I just think people. I think people are counting Brandon out based on his Arnold showing, Here, wait, and I don't ready? think that was a good showing for him. I'll I'm say basing this. it. I'm basing it off age and <coughs> and pot- and potential okay. downward trend. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Also, wait, guys are up, are going up, and I think Brandon's kind of just like you know, guy, keep your hand up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think any of our top fours could potentially win. 
Okay, wait. I have a question. I don't see Ramy losing. I have a question. If Brandon shows up like last year, where does he place? Um, I don't know. So does Muddy show up? I'm asking, I'm asking Jose. I'm asking Jose because he has him in eighth. So I'm saying, obviously, you have him in eighth because you saw him at the Arnold and you think he's probably going to be diminished from last year's Olympia showing. But I'm saying, what if Brandon is able to show up like he did last year? Where would you put him? Second or third. That's what I'm talking about. Because I think yeah. with his extra time of Kuwait, he's going to end up like he looked last year, if not better. Yeah. I think he may be under a little stress this year. I heard he was down to like 215 at some point after the Arnold. After and, uh, the Arnold? Yeah, took an extended time off. Yeah. I saw, I, people saw him and said he looked like regular gym bro at one point. Yes. <laughs> Brandon, and, if you can hear us or anybody sends you this, please post a uh, updated photo so we can see what we expect, what we should be expecting. He's going to be like, I, I have a, fig, I have a feeling he's huge right now. You're probably right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, it's eight weeks out from the Olympics. He's not going to be huge. He's not going to be huge, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, there's, there's, it's now or never. You know? I just think he's hiding for a reason. I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'll let you guys talk. And he's going to just show up and be fucking great. I would want nothing more than to see we him. All would, we would all want to see him. Yeah, he's incredible. None of it, obviously, none of this is personal. I'm still in the camp of when guys who have showed things in the past start showing less, it's because they don't feel they look as good as they have. What does that mean? Explain that. What are you saying? Like someone like Brandon, who in the past during preps has posted check in photos and blah, blah, blah. When you start oh. doing less, I think it's because you think in your own mind's eye that you don't look as good as you have. And it's I, you, you, in your mind, you're only as good as your best. So if yes. you're posting pictures where you're sub, then your best, you don't want to post. I agree, except for the fact that I think he he knows he had a bad placing at the Arnold, so maybe he's playing into that. I don't think so. I don't think people play mind games like that extend with not posting. I think if you look good, what do you mean Nick is? Right. Well, Nick Nick said he wasn't, and he just Wait, who had a bad placing at the Arnold? Well, bad showing. Bad uh, brain, showing. Brain, he brain. won the Arnold, but it wasn't. Oh, I was gonna say, okay. Yeah, he won the Arnold, but he okay. didn't, he wasn't like his best. Yeah, agreed. All right. Well, let's move on to some questions. We'll see how wrong we are in eight weeks. We're probably going to change those lists like 10 times between now and then. I mean, just look at me. I look, I think I look good right now. And I'm posting pictures fucking 30 times a day. What do you weigh right now? I think Brandon's 40 years old. I don't think he does. Mm. That does thinks he has to do that anymore. Mid, mid to low 270s, 273, 274. That's great. <laughs> you know how much I weigh, Jose? Come on. 260. 59. Two years. 64. So oh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> are you I'm taller gonna... than Ian? You guys the same height? No, Don't you know, happen though? After this podcast, 264, McDonald's 268. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taller than you, right? A little bit. No, you're hey? not. I'm five ten. No, you're not. I'm 100 percent five ten. Yeah, we 100 percent you're not five ten. <laughs> How tall is your wife, Ian? Five seven and a quarter. In a Why'd quarter? you ask him that? Because when I met her, she was like a foot and a half taller than me. Didn't you say she yeah. was at Amazon? <laughs> no, she was, she was tall, dude. I think she had some sort of heels on, though. Yeah, she's. I only know exactly because obviously she was, she's a pro figure competitor and they, they hide them in. So I, uh, when she was a manager, they hide her in. So I know her height. She's yeah, just over 5'7". Yeah, that's a good six inches tall than me. Jose, how tall is <clears throat> your, uh, your chick? She's basically my height. Made, oh, I forgot about made, chicks. Chicks. How's your, Let's chick. uh, how's your uh, Starbucks chick? How I don't about... know. Jose, no. she's taller than you. Guy, don't yeah. change the subject. Yeah. No. Don't change the subject, guy. I was I was on a topic of conversation. Yeah, but this is I'm more important. Starbucks oh. chick. Yeah, don't... that's better. <laughs> she's how like tall... five eight. <laughs> how tall are how tall is the family? She, she she puts guy in her purse and carries him around. Is she tall? Are you guys guy? still seeing each other? What is happening right now? Yeah, I'm not in the mood. serious it. right now. Because <laughs> deflecting. Why are you deflecting? I think he's in love. He's blushing. Yeah. He's been hiding her. She. He doesn't want to share her. Yeah. With the rest of us. Come on, tell us something. He thinks we'll ruin what? it. How many dates have you been on? <laughs> Two, three. What? Four. What? Dates. What? Do date? you tell her that you love her? No, I haven't been on a date. Did you tell her you love her? <laughs> You're so stupid. Oh, she's gonna watch this and be like, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> Doesn't even. I don't even think she knows this fucking podcast exists. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Her kid watches this. 
<laughs> her nephew. <laughs> How many kids does she have? What? She's got three kids. Three? One in college, one in high school. <laughs> he, is full of, he is full of shit. Would you rather lose your sense of smell or lose your sense of taste? Uh, well, one I did the same. Smell you can't I did the same. If you lose your smell, you're losing your taste. So I guess yeah, I'll ask that question. Yeah. He can't out who, who would last? Who would last the longest in a three minute round with Amanda Nunes? <laughs> Me. No way. Yeah, because I can James. stay low. James. James. I feel like James would just be the most durable. <laughs> just take the but piece feeding. She fine. could kick him in the nuts. Yeah, I think James. Why, she can't kick you in the nuts? No, I'm way shorter and I can wrestle. <laughs> you can wrestle. That's right. Can you wrestle? Yeah, I wrestled in high school, college. Did you? Yeah. How, uh, what, how, like, how was the highest level? What was the highest level you wrestled at? In college. But I know, but I, like, I, I wasn't is it like double A and triple A. Like, what is the fucking. No, no, no. I mean, I wrestled against guys from Penn State and got the shit kicked out of me, but, yeah. I, you know, I wasn't great. But I was good enough to wrestle in college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Guys, which you wrestle? to Why the I average know? lay person, someone that wrestles in college will put you on the floor in seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you can only speak using one artist's song lyrics for the rest of your life. Which artist are you? Oh, R. Kelly, without a doubt. Any genre? <laughs> Why? Because he pees on girls. Oh well, yeah. And you just listen to his lyrics. Those are brilliant. Seal. <laughs> Little Wayne. Who? Little Wayne. <laughs> no, he's got a good vocabulary. He uses some good words. I wouldn't I I wouldn't run out. Eminem. Or Eminem, yeah. Oh, who wins good. who wins the Olympia first? Hunter or Nick? Who? Hunter. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, I, you'd have to say Hunter because he is structurally, aesthetically a I little just more a pleasing. bodybuilding poster boy. You know, I mean, he looks that part. He's a, you know, a historic family. He's got a pretty physique. He's always improving. He's, you know, he's just a good, good all around. You know, not to it say, all I'm just saying, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Nick. Hunter looks the image very, very well. You know, who has the best calves in bodybuilding ever? Me, duh. Eric, Eric, Eric Fankhauser. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Mike Matarazzo. <laughs> you think Mike Matarazzo had better calves than Eric Fankhauser? Well, Fankhauser's... Was, Eric Fankhauser's calves went down to his fucking heel. He had elephantitis of the lower leg. It was all the way down to his ankle. Mikulski had some pretty wild calves, too, though. Very good. Jeff Long. Jeff Long. Dallas. Flex, Flex Lewis, Dallas. Flex, yeah. Well, you're just talking about great calves. We're talking about Look, the best. Look look up Mike Matarazzo's calves. I am they, really they were sharp, pointy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Shot up. What is no. that? Those aren't shot up. You don't think they were shot up? No, no I don't think shot up, man. Look how jagged they are. Those aren't yeah. shot up. Look at that. You can't get that kind of detail if they're shot up. No. Well, so I thought I heard they were he, he they were shot up. They look bad there, but his arms were shot up. His but his arm. calves were crazy. Arnold's, 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 Arnold's implants. Something don't look right about him. Wait, he has implants? I don't know. That's that's it was the rumor for a long time. But look at Matarazzo's there on the left, right. Hold side. on, that, that's at Bev's gym. Wait, that's that's three ben, of them. That's Ben, Jeff, and Long, Jeff Long, and Eric Fankhauser. <laughs> I, I Fankhauser. think Ben's the best man. No way. Look at Fankhauser's soleus. Click it? on it. No, I think it's ben, too ben, big. Ben's got the projection like crazy. No, but, yeah, fuck. those are pretty crazy. The fucking video. What is this? It's a video, dude. Oh. Top ten calves in bodybuilding history. These are the best guys in bodybuilding history, right? I'm now. I'm sticking with Ben. Dude, they're just they're all top. Yeah, Ben's are crazy. Yeah, Ben's are just Eric's like are just overdeveloped. Like, yeah, but it's all okay, hold on. It's almost like having a just said hold on, they're, hold on. they're overdeveloped. Who at it's yeah, almost like totally having is. high it's like he has high lats of the calves. Guy, it doesn't matter. These guys have a love affair going already. Look at this shit. You can see his calves from the front, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It's like his soleus. Yeah, is that's the problem. Awful. They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're wider than his quad there dude That's we're not crazy. talking about we're not talking about the illusion of the entire body we're talking about if you cut this picture out right here yeah hey, google bends look at bends 
Just one second. Let's see from the back. I yeah, mean, you can see the them right here. This is not even like you can already see right here. This is way better than this. I don't agree. Why don't you like Ben? <laughs> Nothing to do with Ben. I just think he's a so better. Jealous. Is it because he's a better Canadian bodybuilder than you? He's not what a better Canadian on? bodybuilder though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's that? There's Eric right there and Ben. Yeah, I still think Ben. No, no way. Yeah, dude, look well, at that. Way, that's certainly your top two of all time. That looks like a quad for fuck's sake. Like that. a baby's. It's like a baby's brain. Too yeah. much. It's ridiculous. That that makes my argument there alone. They're too much. It's like quadruple F boobs. It's just <laughs> too it's much. Because Ben's fit better because Ben had gigantic fucking legs. Yeah, but we're not talking about we're fitting, talking about talking fucking about, overall. Talking about just the calf. It's like I know. knee down, bro. That's proving my point. No, it's not proving what? your point. Yeah, because he, Ben's Ben don't look as disproportionate because his legs are big. Where Eric's no, they look, look they don't look as disproportionate because they're smaller. I don't see what? that at all. Hmm. I I don't. I do not that. see that. Look at how much muscles in here. I wouldn't say they're smaller. I would say, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wouldn't say they're smaller. I think there's a shape different, and I like the shape of Eric. Wider better. and with more projection to me. He's got more like. Go there, look, second row, second row, second row, second from the left. Here. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. They're amazing. They're just not as good as Eric's. Oh, we could go on this one all day. Well, <laughs> agree to disagree then. Agree. To Let's get to the butthole questions. Look at, <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, they're absurd, of course. Yeah. Okay. All right. Agree to disagree, Jose and Ian. Right. Fine. Matarazzo it is. <laughs> I will say that Bankhauser is among the best calves in the world of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you had to pick, I mean, Paul DeMeo, right? Let's try Paul DeMeo. This were good. One second. This is, some of, this is one of the best lower bodies in history. Yeah. And triceps. Look at these fucking legs. Well, that's not good. Look, tricep. look at this. This yeah. is fucking nasty. Calves? No, probably not. Among the not as the other guys, but they fit really nice. Tricep. Look at that side tricep. Yeah, that's that's no, down, down, down. Where, where, where? Down, down. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. He was, yeah, and he never even. Like a whole different. Animal. Reached his potential. No. Yeah, great, great calves, but not. Yeah, no, not the biggest, no. But I sure, I surely would trade mine for them. I yes. would put them up there for quads, though. Oh, yeah. amongst yes. the best. Yes. Um, what was your most desperate concoction when you were on prep and had nothing to eat? I mixed ground beef with oatmeal and baked it. And then put ketchup. Yeah, like on. I, no, no, no. I think it's saying like, I think they're saying like an additive. No, he's saying desperate concoction, meaning what did yeah, you anything. make? Oh. And I put ground beef and oatmeal together and baked it in the oven in a like a cake pan. Like a casserole. Yeah. It was I disgusting. used to, this isn't desperate though. It was just like what oh. it did. I, the first show I ever did, I ate zero carb. And I mean when I mean zero, I mean zero. No vegetables, nothing. And I used to get find this like really high fat nut butter stuff I would use and I'd bake it onto white fish. Oh. That actually doesn't sound bad though. It would kill the fish. So I would just get, I'd put a layer on it, like 20 grams layered on, like painted on with like a, a barbecue brush. And then I would just put it in the oven. And that's all I ate six meals a day. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get shredded for the Olympia. Yeah. I, was re I was real lean and real. Tired. I don't even think I could do that for one day. I did it for 12 weeks. I'd get through like half the day and I'd order a pizza. I used uh, to make chocolate eggs. Chocolate I'd, eggs? Yeah, egg whites. And I'd put, Oh, Sugar I did that. Cocoa powder on it. No, no, not Tuvia. that. I did. Uh, I did egg whites mixed with chocolate protein, and I made a pancake in a frying pan. Yeah, well, now you can just go buy fucking muscle egg, and it's all done for you. you know? That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. guy used to shit himself after having that. Having, having what? The cocoa powder. <laughs> he was egg sponsored whites? by him. He used to have gallons of it in his. Oh, fridge. the muscle egg shit. Oh yeah. 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 And then he would just shit his brains out. You were drinking it raw, I assume. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, horrible. Yeah. You, still shouldn't, you still shouldn't drink egg whites raw. No. If you had to delete all but three apps from your phone, which ones would you keep? Like this text message? Wait, hold on. So is text message an app? I don't think so because it comes with your phone. Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep YouTube. Um, 
Really? Tinder? <laughs> Tinder? Grinder? Grinder? You have Grinder? <laughs> I'm going to keep in a YouTube, Instagram, and the Safari counter now. That's like a mm. given, right? No, that so. comes with. Comes with. Uh, I don't even know what a third one. All the others are disposable, you know? Shopify. cha like, I don't know. Like, I don't need any of them except for fucking Instagram because everything else you can just do on fucking live, like on. Yeah. Like you just go on I mean, live. I don't want, I use, I watch all my, I like, I would keep Netflix, YouTube, and Instagram. Probably YouTube, Instagram, I Shopify. Guess. No, I want to keep my banking app because I do all my banking through my phone. Yeah, yeah. I, can do that. I can do that from home. You're probably oh, that's true. You can do it right from your desktop too. I don't need to bank anywhere. It's not that big. Of a oh wait, I'm probably gonna keep WhatsApp, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube. Well, WhatsApp, we're just considering text messaging. That doesn't count. No, it's separate app. Well, then I'll pick WhatsApp too and get rid of that. Jose, I will keep Instagram, WhatsApp, and Christian Mingle. <laughs> I'll keep Instagram, WhatsApp, and Starbucks. <laughs> hey, ooh, Starbucks. I love you for that. Attaboy. I'm gonna get some extra kisses. <laughs> uh, you want to keep the Starbucks? Wait, hold on. You want to keep the Starbucks app? You go there every day. I just said I might. Talk. I just said that's a good one. Well, you but have I the app? I need. Yeah. I yeah, we both do. I you collect points, and then you get free coffee. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> I don't trust any of that. What do you think is going to happen? Get out of it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to order some shit. What's the worst thing going to happen? You lost your passport, luck, exactly. your wallet, <laughs> and cash. I was, I was <laughs> losing yeah. something at Starbucks. Wait a minute. I want to hear this because I think Jose is one of those one of those people. What do you not trust about Starbucks? I don't trust anything. I hate online banking. I hate really. I would never order. Oh, we anything talked about online. this. When you go to the bank, you actually go to the bank. I go to the bank to make deposits. So how are you like a 40-year-old, like 80-year-old? Because it bank. works. Yeah, but why don't you just do it on the phone? It takes two minutes. If I can't see it, touch it, or smell it, I don't believe it. You know the last time I was at a bank? It must have been like five fucking years ago. I live right down the street from one. Yes, I'm so in there. Why, every... But I don't want to go there and wait in line shit. They know me on first name basis. Is that better? Because you're the only fucking customer. Yeah, you're the only one who still goes to the, the bank. bank. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't know how to do shit on my phone, so they're gonna show me how to do it. Well, it's different. Wait, that's different. Saying I don't know how to do it and I don't trust it is two different things. Well, it's I don't trust it because I don't know how to do it. But if you knew but how to do it, every time I'm you with Jose, it? Fuad, every time with Jose, it it at some point it turns into this. Hey, show me how to do this on this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no, but wait a minute. I, I feel it. bad. I feel bad. I feel like if somebody showed Jose. How to do online banking? It would make his life much easier. He would never go to the bank again. He never asked. I, I do have it. I just don't like it. So you I, know I, how to use it. You just don't trust it. Yeah, I got it. I got. But you know, like when you deposit it, 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 it shows up that. It's yeah, like there. you can. I I can deposit a check by taking a photo. Like I don't have to go yep. to the bank. So you, do, you, do you don't have too. Venmo, PayPal, nothing. I would feel a lot, much less anxiety if I just slip it in that little thing. And <laughs> Why? There's no difference, though. Like when you slip it in the ATM, it's gone. You don't know where. Let me ask you this: Do you go do the thing with the with the shuttle with the little? Who had? Who had? Wait, wait. Jose's asking me a question. Go. go I know. I just, just <laughs> go ahead, Jose. So, so you take a picture of the check and then you yeah. deposit it. Yeah. What do you do with this check? You shred it. I just cross it out and I throw it away. I keep them. And you shred them. See? Ian is with me. Or no, or you just keep them until they clear and then shred them. Yeah. I keep them all. I just keep them for conversation me. gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like thinking about it. Okay. Once the money, once the money is deposited in your account though, Jose. Yeah. And you can see it. Yeah. What the fuck do you care where the paper goes? I still have the check in my wallet from for 75 grand from last year's Arnold. Yeah, but, that's like a, but, that's that a, but that's a keepsake. That's different. You want to give that to me. It's, I got to piss. No, Jose. So let's say you deposited your check. Yeah. And then you looked at your account and the check is the money is there. Yeah. Who cares about the piece of paper? What do you need it for? Yeah. Because sometimes the computer fucks up. Okay. Where, so the computer's not going to take the check away, bro. 
What if someone calls bullshit on you or it's like shows up it's fraudulent or something? You gotta have the hard copy. Okay, you know? fine. So exactly. let's say you put the hard okay, so fine. You put the hard copy in a the drawer, then what? So what? Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, I would do that and hold on to it. I've, okay. I can tell you this. I've never taken a picture of a check and uh, deposited it. Ever. I think, I think you should. I think you should start doing online banking. If I do it, I'm going to send it to you the first time I do, <laughs> just to prove it. <laughs> okay. I might do it next week. I don't even get checks anymore. Like people well, just. Will you probably get back? Well, do you have PayPal? Yeah, no, yeah, I hate that too. Why? Because now they can take twenty five hundred bucks no, from you. No, that's not true. Derogatory. That's not, no, they took that back. <laughs> Wait, so what they, they came, have? So they came out with that statement, Jose. What and was like, it? So P- PayPal came out with a statement. They say it's an accident, but PayPal came out with a statement that said they could ding you for up to twenty five hundred dollars if you are known to uh, talk about misinformation or anything like that's not woke or whatever the fuck you want like a it. fine yeah like Wait, fine. Where? Like, talk about on, it where though on anywhere anywhere on, pay- on the yeah. podcast so they could track us and then yeah. us. Yes, yes but, but 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 it's crazy everybody bitched and then paypal came out with a statement later that night and said that was a misprint and a mistake and they never meant to do that so that's been removed so that's not a thing actually they got rid of that so I like direct deposit that's the best deal i do have paypal but i encourage people to pay me otherwise i like paypal because i can send money to anybody anywhere at any time and get money from anybody anywhere anytime that sounded like a fucking goddamn commercial yeah who had smart he knows how to work but the best is definitely get money from anybody anytime anywhere anyhow any why next week you'll see a paypal commercial on here (laughs) it's a great idea the best is definitely e-transfer that we have a camp yeah yeah we don't yeah we don't have they can't do that cross border though unfortunately uh okay. Um if a, oh god. Okay, you want some ask questions? Yes. If a no. girl pegs you, are you gay? Nope. Yes. What? If a girl pegs you, are you gay? Yes. No. You have yes, you have yes. gay tendencies. Yes. yes. I don't know if sure. I agree with you guys on this one. Yeah. No, I yeah. agree. I might agree that you have some gay tendencies, but are yeah. you gay? No. Well, if you have gay tendencies, does that make you gay? <laughs> kind of gay? A little gay? No, because the whole me, premise me, behind the whole premise behind me and Jose's a, attack on if it's gay, if you're gay, is that it has to be a gay act. And if a dildo in your butt is not a gay act. No, I, I don't know what it is. Wait, no, wait, but if you're with wait, a girl, I'm saying wait, if you're with a girl. Wait. Yeah, let me clarify. What makes putting things in your butt gay is when it's a man's penis. A man is attached to the penis. Yes. Wait, hold on. But if you're putting something in your butt that literally looks like a man's penis. And to me, it's very similar. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. a girl, a girl's finger looks like a penis. That's no, why I don't let that right. happen to me. <laughs> there's no, there's no. Man. <laughs> and that's why, has no. <laughs> Finally, me and guy agree with something. But what about what about if a gay guy wanted to use a pocket pussy? Wait a minute. What about if you bang her on her butt? That's a yeah. gay act. If what? If you bang a girl on her butt. It's wait, a, I made this argument. Yeah, that it's a, you're right. It's a girl. Wait, 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 Jose. Argument. Wait a minute, Jose. You're right. It's a girl. That's, yeah, he he just answered it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it, so yeah. it's okay. There's a girl putting something up your butt. It's so a if girl. a girl puts something up your butt, it's a girl. Well, hey, listen. If I liked it, I I'd be all right with it. So I guess if you like it, then not the question the is if you, the question is not if you like it or don't like it. The question yeah, we, is we don't we don't not say we're liking it. Yeah, I I it's not something that we're done. I'm asking, is it gay? <laughs> Don't it's partially girl. gay. It's partially gay. Yeah. A so if bit. you bang a girl on her butt, you're partially gay too. Then. Not at all. Why? Because you, you, you have like buttholes. Men have buttholes too. You is that buttholes attached to a vagina? Yeah, but the dildo that the girl's putting in your butt is attached to her hand, and she's a woman. Which looks like a man's penis. But yeah, it, yeah but a girl's asshole looks like a man's asshole. <laughs> really? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're saying the premise behind anal sex is that. It's attached to a woman, and I'm saying if you if a girl puts her finger in your butt or puts a dildo in your butt, it's a woman doing it. So where's the gay part? God, you stuck. guys, you guys could be missed out on a whole lot of fun here. Maybe you need to expand <laughs> your horizon. You know, <laughs> maybe fingers and butts and dildos and butts will just be what tickles your fancy. You know, exit only, mother. Listen, fucker. I don't care if you guys like it or don't like it. We're trying to figure out the the line. Yeah, and if we're saying if it's attached to a woman, it's okay. I never said that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So if you have anal sex with a girl, that means you're gay? No, I didn't say that either. 
what are you saying then? You have to say something. What do you mean? If you have anal sex with a woman, does that mean you're gay? Repeat what you just said. If you have anal sex with a woman, does that mean oh, you're gay? Say the last part again. With a mean, with a woman, does that mean you're gay? No. Okay. So, anal if sex. A, so if a woman puts a oh, dildo, yeah, you better come in, bro. You better come in. Jose, I mean, yeah, if, if, don't leave me out here with no wrath, bro. Better come. No. I'm fucking sitting here. So if a girl podcast meet me at the gym at ten, all right? <laughs> if a girl pegs you, you have certain tendencies. I would say. I'm just not. I'm, I just don't. Well, let's ask Listen, you guys. If we're if we're you guys being... are married, if, if do you would you let your wife jam a, 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 a dildo in your ass? <laughs> No, but not because I it would make me gay. It's because I don't like it. Like I don't want to do it. It's not something I'm like, oh, curious. Ian's about. awfully quiet over there. <laughs> He's like, Ooh. It's like I'm I look, the word on this one. Let me let me put it this way. If Melissa was like, I really want to do this. This is something I really want to try. Oh man. Don't I'm like, yeah, it. sure, fuck it. I'll try anything once. And I might dislike it. Like, look, it's like most girls, they don't want us to fuck them in the ass, but they do it because they know. <laughs> but you know, you know some do some sure but a lot most don't but they do it because of us so if she's like okay i i just wanted I, i'm like okay i'll let you do it once just because you want to try it kind of thing sure whatever i gotta say ian's very open-minded about this topic but he's not yeah, but i'm wrong. very close but he's not, so. he's not necessarily <laughs> he's not necessarily wrong and i think jose knows it that's why he's mulling it over over here he's there's like, almost nothing there's almost nothing sexually i won't do with my wife she's my wife you know I can agree with that. All right. Jose. I I'm not, that. but my wife would never ask me that because. And look, I know Melissa, the idea of her putting, of her being in like the position, <laughs> yeah. like being on all fours and her yeah. putting something on my yeah. butt would just turn her off. What you if know? you're on your back? Does that be okay? <laughs> <laughs> like this? Like, just like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would work. <laughs> that's oh, a, that's a more acceptable position. <laughs> Yeah, no. See, I mean, it puts you in too much of a, a emasculating, emasculating, compromising exactly. position, you know? <laughs> that finds, I think most girls would find hard to find attractive, you know? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do a couple more and then we'll go. Uh, can, nope. If you, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, no, yep, da, da, nope. Jose, I would agree? love to have access to these nopes. <laughs> you want me to read them? Okay, fine. I'll tell you what I'm reading. No, because you know what? Hold on. Stop, stop. I did the same thing, and then he fired one at me, and I'm like, I'll never say that again. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were just ridiculous. Uh, um, what the fuck? Would, quarter <laughs> would quarterly blood tests be so bad for the IFEB? I mean, I, I miss seeing the Arnold on NBC, ESPN. I wish bodybuilding could find its way into the mainstream. It's the best sport in the world if you live the life right. Oh, we've covered this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not mainstream. It's not meant to be mainstream. It can't be mainstream. And it's not uh, uh, financially... Um, well, the organization can't take responsibility. Even if that. it was mainstream, or even if you wanted it to be mainstream, I don't think <laughs> quarterly blood tests would make that happen. No, I don't think yeah. that would change anything. No, because I think the part of the one of the main reasons it's not mainstream is because of the anabolic use, the prevalence of steroids, Wait. and how it. And then people are going to be like, "Well, people use them in other sports too," but our sport is directly impacted on the way we look by them. So it's, <laughs> it's more. It's more visible it's hidden, to everybody. It's hidden in other sports. It's not in ours. That's right. Um, why are women less funny than men? That's interesting. It's a good question. No, it is. Women. And I, I'm not trying to be a, a woman hater or nothing, but like most great comics are men. Mm -hmm. Women are less likely to be self-deprecating, to make, make fun of themselves. and I find that women complain about men a lot in their comedy. Yes. Whereas yeah. men don't do that. I think because women are more emotional, which is why, and men aren't, which is why men make better comics. I mean, I've heard men complain about women in their comedy, but like if you did watch Dave Chappelle, he's not doing like married anti jokes. women. Yeah. All right. Um, have what? <laughs> Listen, 
I'm going to read it just, just so you know how stupid. Ah, here we go. Have hair for teeth or I teeth have an for... answer. What? It says that this is something that's evolved, actually, and because humor is a resource. About? Oh, but the women thing. Because humor is a resource that men often use to woo women, so it's more developed in men in a lot of cases. I see. Yeah. There you that's go. How I, that's so how I get men my, have to compete. I, men, that's men how I get my chicks. Men have to compete for women's favor where women generally don't have to compete for men's favor. Humans just a weapon to improve your chances. It's just a guy I was gonna ask, did you use humor to get the Starbucks girl? I just use my fucking good looks. How did you get the Starbucks girl? What did you do? Ordered a coffee and walked in. Well, what did you, you do? It. That was you it. Get anybody. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, huh? Uh, the stupid question I was going to read is have hair for teeth or teeth for hair. So stupid. Teeth See? for hair. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. I don't want hair for teeth. That's going to make eating so hard, but I can put a hat on. I can wear a fucking, I can be like guy and wear a fucking beanie all the time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Never um, I see him. It'd be a good weapon. Teeth on your head. Yeah, just fucking. Look at, people. Look, at, look at that bald spot. Well, what are you going to do with fucking hair? In your uh, well, go down more, buddy. Go down more. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. <laughs> go down. No, 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 no. Go oh, down. Oh, I see go, what he's getting. Go at. down. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? The I got some I fucking nice. Son of a bitch. He, what are you talking me, about? Guy had me fooled, man. I That's where mine's you, starting to go. I told you. Yeah, That's not a lick. It's a colic. It swirls in the back. It's <laughs> You got a I roundabout support. on your far and your fucking head. Guy, I win the hair. No, you don't. I not don't know anymore. That. Now that I've seen the big, <laughs> not not so big not saucer on the back of your head. <laughs> oh, that burn what? mark on your head. <laughs> Ian, what is he even talking about? Back me up here. Bend your no. fucking head down. Bend just, your head ah, off. Down. Right there. <laughs> down more. Down. <laughs> like, oh, like, nothing there. Uh, what is something you're proud of but never had an excuse to talk about? My height. My well, seriously, <laughs> that's a good question. Is there something you're proud of that never you never were able had an opening to discuss? Huh. That's a weird. That's a strange question. I've never thought yeah, about that's, that. That's a very egotistical question. Well, because sometimes there's something that's you want to talk about, but you don't want to. Maybe you don't want to seem like you're bragging, or you don't want to fucking come. I off feel like it. you don't brag enough about hostile and how fucking awesome it is, and I, how big dude, it's become. From the amount of time I am online, the fucking tiny amount i talk about hostile is ridiculous like yeah. are you crazy i think like i air my shit out there pretty good i don't really know what would be out there that wait I did you disagree with me no he disagreed oh. with you you said i talked about it too much is that what you're saying i said you don't talk about it enough what the fuck oh i thought you were being facetious uh. don't use words you can't spell one <laughs> i can't spell facetious <laughs> I think. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, can you? I gotta admit, Ian, I don't Ian, know. Ian, Ian, write this down. Write this down. What he says. No, 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 no. He's moving the mouse. He's trying to move. Hands right there. Hand it like this. Say it like this. Say it like this. <laughs> okay, but you guys Say have to like tell. You guys have to after. Say it after. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Ian doesn't go. Don't go there. No. Say it like this. <laughs> Say it like this. Okay. 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 Uh, F. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The H, motherfucker. Okay, go. <laughs> F, okay, yeah. Wait, one wait, right. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> F, E, F, A. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you spell F A C E S I O U S? No. Fuck. Don't say it, Ian. Go ahead, guy. I th don't turn the joke around. No, I just want to see. I want to see if you know. I already. I, I, I gotta write it down. Hold on, let me get a pen. Oh you fuck! Google. You're never gonna get this guy. I'm getting a pen. <laughs> Did you Google it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm right here. No, no, I Googled it. I'm trying to find a pen. Thing. So you can see how it's spelled now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was off by. Don't okay, Google it. Saying. No, you only you added some and missed one. No. No, Ian, I, I literally won. You, you, were I'll tell you I'll just don't say anything. Don't say anything. I'll tell you in a minute. I didn't, I didn't. Did remember. you go on your phone, you motherfucker? Where'd you go? I got a fucking pen and paper. All right, All right let's see. Go ahead. My hey, phone's Jose. not even near Jose's me. Jose's already looking it up, you fucking asshole. No, I, I don't have Alexa. 
You're I looking just, at something. Wait, how did, wait, wait. How did, wait, how did Fuad spell it? I said F A C E S I O U S. Oh, yeah. So you're only one, you're one letter off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, now guys got a hint. No. It's, it's the it's first T- letter. It's T I O U S. Yeah. Well, that's because Ian just gave you the fucking hint. It's literally yeah. just the word facet. Oh, facet with I O U S at the end of it. Facet. Fuck. It was off by one letter. You cunts. Facet just. Wait, did I get it right or no? You did, no. but only because Ian gave yeah, you a hint. Yeah, but I, I fucked it up. Sorry. Yeah. Got- anyway, you were Jose, being. What just- were you looking at? I was trying to look it up, <laughs> <laughs> but you know it's how like, dumb you can is say that? Word, you can say words that you don't have to know, know how to spell. Are you crazy? Well, I was just being a fucking stupid. No, no, I know, but think about it. How many words do you say a day that you might not know how to spell? About three hundred twenty-seven and a half. I spell necessary <laughs> wrong all the time. Any? <laughs> See? What is it, guy? I can't spell necessary. I just get the word, the letters fucked up. The C's and the S's. Yeah. yeah. Too Sometimes many S's, just, too yeah. many C's. That's CC's, A R Y's. Yeah. Uh, would you rather have, fuck Jesus. Would you rather have fingers as long as your legs or lo- I'm not doing this. Just kidding. No, no. <laughs> um, when and in what order would you introduce Clen T3 into your diet phase and for how long? I'm currently four weeks out, four weeks into my diet phase. Oh, God. That's okay. This is good. That's just, this is good. This is good. I don't I, know how fucking fat are you, bro. I have yeah. a general idea of when I usually <clears throat> start my shit. So okay. I'll just say it. I'll just say it, and you guys can agree or disagree. I usually start my T3 at very low dose, like, like 12, 12 and a half weeks. Like 12 and a half at 10 weeks out. That's usually when I start my T3. Okay. And then I increase from there, but I usually like the max I ever got to is 50, but 25 is usually enough. Yeah. Okay, and then clan, I usually start a couple <clears> weeks <throat> after that. So I usually start clan at like eight weeks. So Ian, I don't know if you want to go com- say anything because you're still competing, Jose. I don't know no, no look, a- I, mine's very. That sounds big. right. Yeah, I I will start. I'll start my T three, but I I only keep I only use twelve and a half mics the whole time. Like I only keep it there because I get lean pretty easy. If I start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crying, I'll wither away. So I'll put that in at ten or twelve weeks and just keep it in at that that time. Yeah. Well, the other thing people need to understand about T3, if they don't already, is you can eat away at your muscle. Yeah. It's not only eat away at your muscle. Like if you take too much, you, you just get flat. You get super just, flat. Yeah. Yeah. You get flat and then you get shitty and it's like, it, it's. <clears> no, I mean, Clint, Clint, I'll only put Clint in like maybe the last six or seven if I need it, but I didn't use it last year much. No. I usually start it early, like eight weeks. And I do like, I'll do like a two days on one day off kind of situation. Sure. Um, do you think blessing beats Crizzo? Yeah, oh. that's a that's a tough comparison. I forgot about Crizzo. Um, Chris I'm going to say yes. Crizzo hasn't qualified for Olympia yet, right? Not yet. No. Hey, he's got to do Prague still. Yeah, and you see, Vito is doing a show that won't qualify for this year's Olympia. Well, he's doing. Yeah, he, he, isn't it like he? It's a pro doing an NPC show. It's you know, well, he's doing. He has to do a level one show for, before yeah. his pro qualifier. Yeah. His pro qualifier is until November 23rd. Yeah, but that kid's like, isn't he like 25 or some shit? Yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm just saying a lot of people were talking about yeah. him at the Olympia too. And I, I don't think he will be eligible in time. I think it's smart for him. I don't think he's any reason to rush. I agree. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Jose? Crizzo or Blessing? I think Crizzo has better legs, better arms. Um, I feel like Crizzo hasn't displayed the conditioning he needs yet, though. No. I just think Blessing's legs are big uh detriment to him that's why i didn't have him in the top 10 at the olympia mm-hmm. he, you know, he i gotta, I gotta love you guys improved. what'd you say guy i said i gotta love you and leave you i gotta i gotta go film something at the gym oh it's okay you know what we're, we're gonna head off in a minute anyway at 10 p.m do you want to wait yeah, for the, the gym closes wait? at 10 so I, I gotta do it nobody's there it's for a black she's just getting off her shift do you want to wait for the last question or you want to go right now go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. okay Take the blue pill and restart your life at age 10 with all the knowledge you have now. Take the red pill and jump to 25 years old with 50 million in the bank. 25 year old, 50 million in the bank. Deal, I'm in. I'm 18 years old. Yeah. That seems easy. Both are, well, what'd you say, Jose? 10 years old? No, the 50 mil. I think Ian's right because you could probably like, invest in a whole bunch of stocks that you i care less about having that much money and i care right, i answered i gotta go love you guys okay bye bye no if you're 25 and you have 50 mil you're still young you still got 
three quarters of your life to go. It's um, you can invest your fifteen years time. on that, but be, by being ten. Yeah, but you, you yeah. but you're poor. Who says I'm poor? I'm ten years old with the knowledge of a fucking decently smart thirty two year old. I ain't gonna be poor. But 10, 10 year old, you, yeah, you're but broke. you still got to do something to make money. Whereas I'm a twenty five, right. and, and you I already can got get hit money. by a train the next day. Mm. So that's okay. I don't mind. But you then you're money. useless. At least that if you get fifty mil, you can uh, spend. Hey, I don't, have 50, I don't have 50 mil now and I'm doing just fine. So, I mean, if I'm 10 years old with all my knowledge, I can create a pretty fucking sick life for myself. Plus having that 20 years back on my life that I've already spent. So obviously I'm taking that. Really? Yeah, but then you don't have Melissa. Mm -hmm. I was oh, going to say. She'll be, she'll be 10 years old then too. I'm going to go yeah, try and be You know her. You might not meet her. I got all my knowledge. I remember everything. Yeah, but how are you going to convince her? You're like, yeah, we were together in a previous life. I'm not going to try and convince her. I'm just going to woo her the same as I did the first time. She'd be like, fuck you, you're a know-it-all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm already a know-it-all, and she already married me, so we're already good. <laughs> fuck you, you're a know-it-all. <laughs> you're a lucky guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Um, wow, this is a really heavily bodybuilding uh centric episode i do want to make one last comment before we go about nick because a bunch of people asked me about nick walker and if he's going to be back on the podcast uh i had a good conversation with nick today we both expressed some opinions about things and how they've gone down <clears throat> i am totally okay with nick i love him i think he's a great kid i'm sad that it didn't work out with us at hostile but i wish him nothing the best honestly from the bottom of my heart this is not like any other situation I've had at, at Hostile, and I um, I really hope he's okay, and I hope he does well, and I hope he comes back to the podcast at some point when he's ready to. So that's exactly how I feel about Nick, so you guys can all stop wondering, talking shit, bashing him, bashing me. We're both grown, grown men. It didn't work out business-wise, but he wishes the best for me, and I wish the best for him. So I'd, I'd like at least my supporters to leave it there and not you know shit on nick anymore or say anything to him because i don't i don't want to conduct myself that way or want anybody that's associated with me to conduct themselves that way so i'd like to just all be able to move on and uh, do our thing i gotta say too unrelated just reminded me too earlier today i was watching you guest pose at 2010 bc championships yeah it was humongous there man that's i watched that and I felt like a little bit of envy watching you do that. Why? Just like you looked like you were having a really good time. It was a very good, exciting. Yeah. It was a very like professional guest posing. Yeah. When I watched that, I'm like, this is a routine he put together. It's exciting for the crowd. You look good, but you look big. Like you look like you should be heavy. You look heavy, but you look perfect for a guest posing. Did you like your abs were tight. Your glutes were in like a little, yeah. but you were huge. Did you see, watch the... it, put it on. Did you see the title when I come out? Did you have sunglasses on? No, no, no it's not was, that one. That was a previous one. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, this, you got to check out the title uh, when I walk out. I think it is this one. Like, this, yeah. this one, yeah. Check it out. Check out the title. I think I have to mute it. Maza. One sec. Did I miss it? No, I think it's coming. This guy still commentates these shows out there, right? Oh, yeah. He does Seattle. Yeah. He, he did a, a couple of ones I did out there, out west. Oh, no, it doesn't. Where does it come up? There's another. Oh, there it is. Okay, check this out. Oh, it says you're three point five percent body fat or whatever. Let's check this out. Look yeah, two seventy five, three point eight percent. Two seventy five, three point eight percent body fat. <laughs> no, you look awesome in this guest pose, man. This is a you do look good there. Yeah. And oh, it was like, and then the know. song changed. It was like exciting. Like your posing was good. It looks like mostly water. You can't be more than seven or eight percent body fat. This is I a this is a great guest posing look. I don't remember if I was getting ready for a show or this was after a show. I don't remember, but it's probably after. You look mostly water. Yeah, like you yeah. could tell you're you're lean there. Your hamstrings. Yeah, that's a fun, man. What show did you just do there? I don't remember. I don't even know what year this was. 2010. 2010. This must have been after Tampa or Dallas. Dallas. 
Yeah, you just won Dallas. No, no, I didn't. I took, no. no, I did bad at that show, actually. You took second to... 20... No, 2010, I didn't compete. You didn't? No, 2009, yeah, I competed. The song changes here. Yeah. You took second to Jocelyn Pelletier. <laughs> <laughs> 275, 3.8% body fat. Fuck it, sweet. Uh, okay, That's boys. Pretty... We'll... Uh, We'll get together. What uh, what's the next show coming up? Uh, whatever is Prizzo is, whatever Crizo's doing, Prague. Yeah. All right, let's do some commentary for that. Oh, and I wanted to ask you guys. I think I wanted to start doing some. Actually, just stay on. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys. Just stay on for a minute. Okay, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find hostile and myself. And lastly, check out hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.